Good morning, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Good evening for those who they are in Asia. Uh, good afternoon for those who they are in Europe. God is good, and God is always have many ways to prove Himself. Uh, today our topic is very simple, and uh, I'm not going to waste time. My Skype is open for Muslims because today I decided to make a challenge, which, as usual. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us right now and prove to us that Allah is God in any way, in any mean? Who is a Muslim who is willing to call us and prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet in any way, in any mean? Is Muhammad a prophet and Allah is God because he promised us naked women? Is that what make him God? Is that because he promised us women who can see through their bones, which is very disgusting and scary and weird, just because he is a white racist supremacist cult founder? What is the reason to believe that Allah is God? You know, I saw many videos in YouTube about amazing recitation for the Quran. Brother, amazing, and then they will show you a guy supposedly, and they, and they have a very funny title. A Catholic was so amazed by the Quran, he said, suppose he's a Catholic, like, you have, you have to be Catholic always, you know, because for Muslims, Catholic as that they are the most aggressive anti-Islam, supposedly. A Catholic, he was so amazed, and they will show you somebody, his mouth is open. My friend, I am so amazed with the Quran's stupidity. Prove me wrong. My Skype is open and I want you to prove me wrong. Choose for me any verse from the Quran, any chapter, and let us see if you can handle it yourself. A choice you make. And you will see you cannot handle how stupid the Quran is. So they fool you, they bring a guy who have a nice voice. And this is middle, anyone have a nice voice, whatever he's saying, even if he's singing about Popo, is going to be sound nice, especially if you don't understand the language. If you don't understand the language, and you have a person singing with nice voice, what about we see someone have an ugly voice reciting the Quran, and then you will see how stupid it is. Because now you lost both, you don't understand, and the voice is ugly. So what is left? So they try to fool you by saying amazing recitation for the Quran. I mean, I can, I can sing, but you know, and you will like my voice too. Doesn't mean I am gone. What does that mean? I mean, what this is, what is, huh? You want to convince us that the Quran is the word of God by singing it? Well, so who is the rap music guys who have the biggest sale for, for, between mankind, who are they, the singers, who people, they enjoy their you know, songs, like is your Quran better than uh, uh, a Spanish uh, singer, what's his name, uh, uh, Julio, I mean, I don't know I, what, 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 what you have for us, show us something real, I mean, look at this, this is, this is the first page in the Quran, look how stupid it is, Allah is speaking, saying all praise and thanks to Allah. And remember here, supposedly this is not Allah saying to Muhammad, say and pray like this. No. This is Allah's talking. In the Quran, when Allah he wanna say supposedly to Muhammad, say, he say the word say. Qul. Say. Have you ever heard of a God? He says, Praise be to Allah. The Lord of the two words, what two words? Huh. The genie and mankind, we must and believe in genie. And genie is not a demon. Some naive Christian, they think demon is genie. It is not. Genie, according to Muslim, is a creature. Even he can have sex with their wives. And then Allah, after he say that he is the Lord, praise be to Allah. 
Okay, actually, it doesn't say even praise be to Allah. It says thanks to Allah. First translation, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And then he say, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. But you just said that. You just said here, Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficial, this is the translation. So why you are repeating the same? What 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 this sentence for? You just frame upwards. He have nothing to say. In the same time, how somebody speaking, he say in the name of Allah. I am a Christian prince. Okay, in the name of a Christian prince. Look, you are a Christian prince. You cannot say that. If the one is a Christian prince, Christian prince, he cannot say in the name of a Christian prince. So who is talking there? This is the Quran fabricator, the author. He forget to switch. From first person to second person to third person. Now who is a Muslim would like to call us? My Skype is open. And I'm waiting for a Muslim who is convincing. You know, there is tons of things in the YouTube, Quran, miracle, mathematic, miracle, and all of it is a fraud. Not even a single one of it is true. You can choose whatever you want to prove us wrong. All what you Muslims have about your prophet, your religion, all those videos is a fraud. Not a single or not one of them is truthful. Who is a Muslim when I call me? <clears throat> hey, how are you, ultimate truth? Hey, ultimate truth, you know, you see, I blocked you, because I, I hang up on you because you are stupid. Last time you called me, you said that it's one elephant, right? And you said, I asked you, uh, where is the elephant coming from? You said Yemen, right? I said to you, where is, do, do they have elephant in Yemen? You said, yes, in the zoo. So do you see, you are from the zoo. I mean, you are a kid, you are stupid, and you say the F word when you are debating to defend Allah. There is something unique about you. You have a talking machine, you don't stop talking. You call me, and then I have to shout. And because you are so rude, stupid, you will never give me a chance to talk. But even though you are calling me to talk to me, but you will not let me talk. You are just a savage, trashy person. You are not qualified to talk to me. However, make a Skype name and call me and everybody will see it's going to happen the same again. Call me. Skype open. You will do exactly the same. Let me talk. And not only that, you will never answer. And I will remind you, you know what? We will go to the topic we mentioned before just to show you how stupid you are. Call me. Everybody will die laughing at you. You never let anyone talk. And when you get you busted, you start laughing. Very savage. Is the word in Jeel Aramaic? You said yes. It's recorded. And you are the one who accept the Quran of uh, Khalifa, which is corrupt Quran, which means you are corrupt like him. Call, call, so we can love. We, we need, a, as long nobody is calling, I mean, we need a joker. Call me, ultimate, call me. Just for fun. Hmm? <clears throat> call, we are waiting. Do we have any other Muslim on a call as long uh, maybe ultimate he is getting ready for to sharp his tongue? Actually, those people are the best one to expose the stupidity of Islam. We say to him, okay, where the elephant coming from? How elephant can walk in the desert? He said there's elephant in the zoo. I mean, isn't it convincing that he is super intelligent person in the zoo? At that time, there was a zoo. 
where the elephant coming from how an elephant can pass the desert hmm. do we have any muhammadan who is a muhammadan is willing to call us Anyone? Did you see 73,000 Muslims become a Christian in Pakistan? No, I did not see that. I have more bigger number here who leave Islam every day because you see our videos they are spread around the earth and we do not know really how many people they are leaving Islam especially when they when they hear Muslim silliness refuting us Allah he sent birds carrying rocks to defend the Kaaba. Okay, so why Allah did not send the birds covering rocks to defend the Kaaba when Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba? When Al Hajjaj attacked the Kaaba, there's many, many leaders they attacked the Kaaba and destroyed the Kaaba. No birds came. Al Qurmati not only he destroyed the Kaaba, he was screaming, Hey Allah, where is your birds? Which means make, it's, it's a big challenge. He's making fun of Allah. Where is your birds? Allah, he defend the Kaaba when the Kaaba was surrounded by idols. Allah did not defend the Kaaba when there is nothing but Muslims there and more than 10,000 Muslims killed by al qurmuti who is an ex-Muslim, obviously. What happened to this ultimate? Are you there, ultimate? You said you will call me. Don't you want to laugh? Come on, Ultimate. You see, as you see, we are out of customers, so you are the only, uh, you know, entertainment we have. Obviously, people, they want to laugh, so I, I have to, to go with their request. When we asked this guy last time, he called me. How Allah, he sent the, the book to Jesus what is the language Jesus speak? He said to me, Aramaic. He said to me, Aramaic. Okay. What is the name of the book which given to Jesus in Jeel? We asked him, what is that? He said, Aramaic. In Jeel is an Aramaic word. And it doesn't take you more than two seconds. This reminds me of Mimi Hijab when he was debating uh, 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 David Wood, he said to him, uh, Elijah is mean God with us. This is the knowledge of the Muhammadan. But look what this guy he did by doing that. He destroyed Islam. He exposed it immediately. Because Muhammad, supposedly, Aka Allah said, that Allah will never send a messenger except with the language of his people. So, according to ultimate thought, Allah bless him. And protect his guys that Jesus and his people which is supposed to be a prophet in Islam Isa they are Aramaic and this is their language and according to ultimate thought that the word Injil is an Aramaic word <laughs> do you take students uh, a lion. If you are a Muslim, you can call me. I don't care who is student, who is not. But this is not for me. I don't measure you, my friend. For us here, all of us, we are equal. Nobody is a teacher. Nobody is a student. If you are a Muslim, you can call me. But in this channel, we take Muslim phone calls. In the other channel, quality of life, we take a Christians. Here, we just 
uh, do our best to keep it only for Muslims. So you guys, you can hear the conversation and you see the other side of view of a Muslim. If you are a Christian and you like to call me, join the Quality of Life account and then you are welcome to call me when we open Skype. Now we are waiting for a Muslim. Who is a Muslim agree with this Nigerian funny guy by saying that Injil is an Aramaic word? And how you explain that he is exposing Islam by saying that when Allah he said, I never send a messenger except with the language of his people. That's mean Allah consider Aramaic is the official language of the people because this is the language of his people. It's not Hebrew. Who agree with this guy that the word Injil is an Aramaic word? Any Muslim? Forget about this guy. He is silly, he is funny, he is dummy. How about this verse? How Muhammad can be a prophet for someone from India? As long you never send a messenger, unless he speak the language of the people, that means if Muhammad is a messenger for the Indian, he have to speak the 400 languages in India. India does not have one language, there is hundreds of languages. Same in Indonesia. How Muhammad can be a messenger for Indonesia? You see, this is the Quran says uh, there's there's an Indonesian Abdul. Supposedly he is trying to refute me. So he said, if this Quran is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And he's quoting the Quran supposedly. Well, the whole Quran is a contradiction. Are you blind? The Quran put a standard, chapter 4, verse number 82. How come they cannot consider the Quran? Well, they cannot consider it. Nobody can consider it seriously. It's a stupid book. So you see, here, by the way, this verse showing us the lies they give us by saying that at that time, the Arab, they were amazed with the Quran. The fact they were amused. They were dying laughing at it. And the proof in front of you. How come they cannot consider the Quran? When you say, I cannot consider your speech, anything is serious. I, obviously, I'm not taking you seriously. It's mean you are just a kid, stupid. They cannot consider the Quran. And he's trying to prove to them that you should consider it. Okay, why? Because if this is not from Allah, then you will find a lot of contradiction. Okay, hold on. I mean, look how stupid this statement is. The one is talking is Allah. So how Allah, he says, if this is not from Allah, should, he should say, not from me. But because the author, he is a stupid, he always forget to switch the personality. So if I am talking about God, is different, I can say, if this is not from Allah, and this is his name supposedly, Lah, I can say, okay, if this is not from Allah, but if I am, the, if I am Lah, the moon God, and I am talking, I should not say, if this is not from Allah, I should say, this is from me. Do we have any caller? And then now zero. What happened? Not a single Muslim he think he can give us one thing. I will not ask you questions. You call me. You tell me how you can prove to us that Allah is God, Muhammad is a prophet, anything you want. I will not ask you. I will I will only talk to you about what you mention. Whatever you mention about your religion, that will be our topic. So choose something very powerful, something very good for you. Hmm? Okay, hold on what uh, uh, Devil Chaser he said. I don't know if Devil Chaser, Chaser he is helping me or he's a Muslim. Maybe he's a Muslim. Uh, Mr. Devil Chaser, my friend, as long you are Devil Chaser, how come your prophet, the, the devil, is within him? 
Isn't it, the, isn't it your prophet? He said that the devil, he command your prophet. And by the way, the verse you quote for us, it's amazing. Let me show it to people first so we can laugh. Guys, look at this verse. This is his choice. He cannot call me. He cannot refute me. But he gave me a verse from the Quran, which is absolutely stupid. Chapter 4, verse number 63. Between two brackets, hypocrite doesn't say that in the Quran. They are those whom Allah knows what is there in their heart. So turn aside from them. Between two brackets, don't punish them. What, what is the, where, where, you, where do you get this from? But admonish them. Okay, why you don't call me to admonish me? <laughs> admonish me, brother. Call me and tell me about the versions. Hello? Hey, ult hey, Ultimate, how are you? So, uh, Ultimate, before we start, are you going to let me talk today or you will not let me talk? If you let me talk, if, you, if you, uh, you're the one having uh, losing your voice, you're the one screaming. I but, start regularly speaking. But you, but you don't if let you me talk. You keep, you keep talking. Look, look, look at you. Look at you now. Look at you. You just start talking. You let, you, okay, you said something. Let me answer hey, you. You see let me answer you. It's a sentence. So, be, but I'm, you will I'm not let me. But okay, do you, you promise? To, okay, let us let us make it. Want people to hear me. Okay, let's make it simple. Okay. Do, you, do you promise me? I will. I will. I will give you. I will give you two minutes. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can you be civilized? Here we go. Can I talk? Be civil. Let me finish. Speak. You ask me a question. Okay. I'm answering the question. Okay, let us make a. Shut rule. Up, I will give. You, I will give you two minutes. You give me two minutes. Is that fair? More than fair. All right. Take five. I will put no. I will give Just you. I will give you. I will give you two minutes. I will put the clock in the in the screen. All right. Here we go. And I will start the clock. Okay. And and then please you start when I say start. Okay. So everybody will be my witness. And let us see. Here we go. Your two minutes started. What was your question again? You said you want to talk. I don't know. Go ahead. Okay. No. You have no question. I started uh, uh, elaborating, and okay. then you cut me off. That's what you do. No problem. You want to so, talk about the the, uh, the, the topic about the elephant? Me. Go ahead. You ask me. Okay, now. That's my turn. Shut mm. the hell up. Mm. Okay. Shut up. Don't say anything. <laughs> you, every debate, I start talking regularly. Now, I'm just showing you that I can be the player. I, I'm not losing my voice. You are losing your voice. Uh, 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 Rob Christian is losing her voice, you know, uh, his voice. I'm not losing mine. Who's losing it? You are losing. So you're the one losing no matter what. You said the last time, you said uh, if, if, uh, if an elephant can go in the desert, that's the dumbest question of all that anybody can ask. Mm -hmm. As of today, you go to any country, you, found, you find elephants. Back then, they used elephant to transport the heavy equipment. So they can to take it to the desert. You know, what are you saying? You said hey, people carry water. So are you saying that the elephants are digging? I mean, the camels that live in there are digging their own wells to drink? People dig the wells for the, for the camels to drink. So they can dig wells for uh, one elephant to drink. The verse said, Surah al fil is the elephant. There is another surah called Surah Al-Baqarah, that's the cow. There's other surah in plural form, like the, the confederates, like the, the, the hypocrites in the plural. If God uses singular, you use singular. You don't lie inventing things when God said the companions, that's plural, of the elephant, that's singular. <coughs> you don't lie. Then you said, God said, oh, uh, 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 an angel. Your time is up. An angel talked to men. Your time is up. No, and not to me. Your time is up. You see how you're lying? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, let us start with the elephant and many elephant. How many heaven there is in heaven, in Islam heaven? I will give you from my time, from my two minutes. 
from my two minutes. How many heaven we have? Go ahead. I said two minutes. Why are you asking me questions? No, no. I am, I'm giving you from my time. Just give, give, me, give me the answer. How many I heaven? I don't need your time. No, no, no. I'm heaven. giving you from my heaven. time, please. I want you to answer no. me. How many? Don't, don't make me hang up on you. You're a, you, you. No, I'm giving you, 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 you from my time. I'm giving you from my time. Strip it, idiot. What's wrong with you? I'm giving you from my time. How many heaven you have? Here we go. I'm done. Here we go. Stay on topic. I'm done. This, this is my topic. This is this is my topic. We are talking about the elephant. How many heaven you have? I am not talking about heavens. I'm talking about elephants. I am proving my point. I am proving my point. I'm asking you how many heaven we. Have. What's wrong with you? I I am done. I'm asking you now. This is my time now. How many heaven we have? No, you, your mic. No. Your mic. Your talk, if you're gonna shut up. <laughs> shut up <laughs> you idiot. In the Quran, it says in chapter two, verse number eighty-two, Ashabul Jannah. Shut up. You said this is my time, right? You, you, I gave you my time. You refuse to talk. I start talking. You you, you you start talking. You see how stupid you are. Ashabul Jannah. How many That's heaven right. we have? It That's says right. Ashab Ashabul Jannah. Which oh, the same sentence That's in the elephant, Ashabul Feel, how many heaven you have? We, we have, you talk about the heavens or the Jannah? Don't confuse the, the skies okay. and the Jannah. So, how many Jannah, how, ma how many Jannah there is? Seven skies, but there's one Jannah. One Jannah. Don't be fooling yourself. All right. You see how mm. dumb you are? All right. So, Don't so you're a prof you're a prophet. No, okay. No, so you're a question. You let me elaborate. Shut the hell up. Guys, he, no hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My time. I'm done. No. I'm not done. You but okay. You you said you said there's only see, one see heaven. You you're a prophet. You said. <laughs> Shut up. Filthy coward, stupid. When I say to him, okay, talk. I will give you my time. He will not let me talk. When I start talking, he will go over me. Coward potato. Here we go. Isn't it the Quran says the chapter two, verse number twenty-five? Lahum jannat, you donkey. Do you see it? Jannat. You said there's only one jannah. You are a coward. You are a prophet. In the hadith, he said clearly that there is many jannah. Let us see. <laughs> Everybody heard you saying there's only one Jannah. There's only one Jannah. Read with me carefully and laugh at yourself. You are a certified donkey. That's why I say I don't waste my time. Mm. Did you hear me? Yes. I okay. How many? How many? How many Jannah there is? How many Jannah there is? There's one jam now some levels. Okay. Like no, beings, no, here we go. This is your prophet. This is your prophet. This is your prophet speaking and the Quran saying Jannat. There's it's not one, one level. Hold on. Okay, here we like okay. A, read with me. Okay. Read, uh, no, 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 no. Read, the, read, read the hadith. 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 And the Lord. There's a high heaven. Read the hadith. Don't waste heaven. my time. Don't waste my time. One building. Read the hadith. Listen. Let me speak. Why are you cutting me off? You ask. Coward, potato. I'm not cutting you off, you donkey. Son of Muta. It's in the front of you. What your prophet saying? There's one from gold and the other is from silver and the other. So the Quran says Ashabul Jannah. There's one Jannah. No. The Quran say clearly there's many Jannah. And your stupid Quran, your for your stupid prophet claiming that there is one made of gold and the other one made of silver. I mean, who is the donkey you want to believe in such a garbage? And how ugly it is to live in a place everything is gold and everything or, or, or other one, everything is silver. You will live inside a metal tank. This is why I don't talk to you because you are so low, so stupid. And you cannot keep your promise for a second. I said I will give you two minutes. And then I said to you, okay, how many Jannah you have? You will not talk. 
Okay, I said, okay, no, no, you continue. Okay, I start continue. You start over talking over me. <laughs> Certified donkey. <laughs> and you know, brother, people carry water with them. It doesn't matter if you carry water or not. The, the elephant have to cool his body. He don't sweat. Even if you give him water, you have to provide water for him, like, like, like a swimming pool where he can jump and spray water on him. So he needs a lot of water, not only for drinking. So when you say Ashab, the company, it doesn't mean one because there's many verses in the Quran that speak about this same topic. Big mouth, but you have nothing to say. You think by being rude you are going to be to be to to accomplish something? You are losing your voice, yeah, because you have, you make me scream. You don't let me talk. I gave you two minutes. You will not give me my two minutes. When I decide to give you my two minutes, you said no, I don't want it. I start talking. You talk over me. <laughs> Savage, trash. You see. African people are wonderful people, but you are from the garbage. You cannot control your mouth. I gave you two minutes in full. I did not cut you off. I keep my promise. Ashabul Nar. Ashabul Jannah. Ashabul Jaheem. Your prophet is copying words from others, false prophet. Hmm? Do you see? This is all is Ashab, Ashab the accompany. So you say it says one elephant, so it must be one elephant. However, if it's one elephant or an army of elephant, will not change anything. But I'm just showing you how stupid he is. When I asked him how many heaven he, there is, he said only the one heaven and there's ranks. That's false. And he said that the word, uh, uh, there's seven skies, and this is not the heaven, you idiot. A Jannah, the Jannah of the Muslims. The word Jannah means simply it's coming from the unseen, like uh, same as genie, you know. So it is, uh, 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 it, it is a garden, but it is a hiding garden. In the same time, you're a prophet, you say that the seven skies are not the heaven of Allah. If we go in the hadith, you will see your prophet, he got you busted because you are a stupid fool again. Not only here he described, which is very funny, that there is a heaven from heaven, a heaven from gold, a heaven from silver. Uh, Muhammad described how many heaven he enter. You are saying that there is seven skies, but there is no seven heaven. So your prophet, obviously, is a liar. If we read the hadith together, let me open it. Hmm? Where he is going now? This is a sky, but this is the heaven. This is about Muhammad going to heaven. And he went through seven of them. Was Muhammad lying? Read carefully. Then he scanned it with him to the heaven of the world and knocked at one of its door. Which heaven this one? The first heaven. Then he continued. He go to the second heaven and they ask him the same question. Then Jibreel took him to this around the heaven and behold, and he saw a river, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then he took him to the second heaven. Do you see it, ultimate far? Don't call me. Don't ever call me. You are just a donkey. I wish you have a little internet. So not only you are savage, rude, you have a big mouth. You are stupid. You don't know your religion. 
And you just explain to us that your prophet is a liar because you just say there is only one heaven and there is one hundred rank. Well, I know ex exactly, you know, this is this is one of the stupidity of Islam. Muslims, they believe that people are not equal in heaven. And there's one hundred rank in each heaven, you donkey. It's not only one heaven. You have seven heavens. So every heaven is one hundred floor. And if your prophet is a stupid and you are a smart, that's a disaster. Here we go. The hate in the front of us, everybody can read. I do not need reading to uh, to prove my point. The point is proven. It's in the front of everybody. Everybody can see it. Second heaven, third heaven, third heaven. As you see. See it? Does it say second heaven? Does it say third heaven? Does it say fourth heaven? Does it say fifth heaven? You are a certified stupid. And you lose your voice. Uh, supposedly I'm losing guys I lose my voice I'm losing I'm, lo I'm losing my voice because I have to be able to stop a donkey from shouting so I can talk the Quran described people like you saying that they are the same as the one who carry books in the top of their backs but they cannot read and this is exactly the description of Muhammad he carry books in his back but he cannot read it All right. Anyone, any Muslim want to call me, feel free. <coughs> you see, we give him a chance. But this guy, he, he cannot even take a bunch in his face for a second. He have nothing. He accept the Quran of Rashad Khalifa, which is false Quran. Not, I mean, the original Quran is false already. You accept the, the additional false Quran? In the top of that, he say the most stupid things ever. Go and watch all the videos because he, this guy, I made him famous. Go watch all the videos of his call to me. You will die laughing. And today is just another comedy. Hmm. What is it about elephant? He said they carry water with them, right? But elephant, they need water not only to drink, they need water to cool themselves. They cannot walk in the desert. He said that elephant, they are used to transfer uh, goods, right? Have you ever heard of elephant transferring goods in the desert? It's a desert. Do you know what desert means? In Saudi Arabia, there is no rivers. It's a desert. Elephants, they cannot survive the heat unless there is water. A lot of water not only elephant all those animals who they live in Africa and this guy the funny he's an African which but he yet he do not know in order to survive the heat they have to stay in during the daytime either under the shade or inside the water they go inside the water for they don't have a heating sweating system you sweat you human you sweat and the sweat will protect you from overheating. You don't give the elephant a bottle of water, say, are you okay now? No, he's not okay, he will die. If you see the elephant in the zoos, they, the, in the zoo, they have to provide them trees and shade and water. And the elephant, he will suck the water by his mouth, or we call it whatever he call it, his nose. <laughs> And then he spray it at himself. You never saw the elephant doing that. Why he do? That? He's not taking a shower. He is cooling himself. So when the Quran says that Allah He sent a, a, an army of birds against an army of elephants, that is the most stupid statement. Hmm. Who is a Muslim? Wanna call us now? You said there's a. Indonesian guy wanna call me? I got nothing. <clears throat> there is only one heaven. No, there is not one heaven. There is many heaven. The seven skies, they are a seven heaven, you idiot. And your prophet saying that. He said there's one hundred rank, one heaven. No, each one heaven, each heaven is one hundred rank. 
And you are prophesying clearly here. For the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, huh? the sixth heaven. What is there? I, I, bet, I bet you this is ultimate fourth. Hello? Hello? Yes. The television friends? Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Uh, hello, I'm Brian. You are, you are what? I'm from Indonesia. You are a Muslim? I'm Brian. I'm from Indonesia. Okay. I'm a Muslim. All right. What, what do you want to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> can you show me about the uh, Hadith? Uh, about uh, Muhammad told the Muslim to don't greet Jews and Christians. All right. What do you want to tell me about and that I uh, open it for you on the screen? What do you want to say? Go ahead. Because uh, I found in the Bible the same thing in Second John when I search for you. When I search for you uh second second john's 2 first 10 to 11. okay we have uh, second john 2 verse 10 to 11. okay we have uh, i cannot read i cannot i cannot read because uh, my english is not so good no because uh, you know it's because you know, when you quote for me my friend either you are sure from what you are talking Oh, what you are talking is not true. Nowhere in Second John it says what you are saying. So if you say it to me, don't tell me, don't tell me you call me. You are not prepared. I mean, you can open it right now in your phone and read it for me. Wait a second. Wait, I don't know. Uh, hmm. Second John. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> If anyone come to you and bring not this teaching, receive him not into your house and give him no greeting. Okay, so this is in your house. This is not this is not somebody in the street. People who they are teaching false teaching, they are not welcome in our houses. So your prophet says when you see them in the street, force them to walk in the sewage, not only you don't greet them. So for us as a Christian, we greet everybody. But if somebody come in with bad teaching to our house, like Jehovah's Witnesses or Muhammad, we will not let him get in. This is our house. We are free. You are free to let me get in or not. What's wrong with that? So how you how you are saying to me that this is the same? You are not being honest. Because I, uh, when you showed the hadith, I also found in the Bible. Yeah, but it doesn't. But, uh, no, but it doesn't say what you are saying. This is far away from what our topic. You see, not only don't greet the Jews and the Christians, your prophet is asking you to harass us and to bother us and to walk us in the sewage. Read the hadith in front of you. This is in the verse you are quoting for me. It's just about a person coming to your house, knocking at your door, not as a guest, not as a friend, not because he's a Muslim. He is coming to preach false teaching, which means he's coming to corrupt your your, your children. He is coming to teach you. What if somebody he want to come to my house and he want to say I am I am a person who worships Satan and I want to teach you why you should worship Satan? Should I welcome him? What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, you are right in, in this part. Okay. So, but you're a prophet. As long as you are the one who mentioned it, what do you think about your prophet saying you have to force them to the, to walk in the sewage? It's what? This is uh, this call is cannot be from God. Cannot be from God. That's wonderful. Okay, so it cannot be from God. So Muhammad is speaking from who? If this is the teaching of Muhammad and he is the prophet and Muslims and you are Sunni, I believe from Indonesia. Sunni, they follow the Sunnah. What Sunnah? Whatever Muhammad he did and he taught, even from the Quran or from the Hadith. You just agreed with me 
that this is cannot be from God. So Muhammad cannot be from God. Yeah, but how about the Muslim said this, how this, the Bible is corrupt? That's wonderful. The Muslim guys, the, the Muslim says to him, he's a Muslim. The Muslim they say to him, the Bible is corrupt. This is additional proof that Islam is false. Because isn't it Allah who sent the Injil to Jesus, my friend? Is that true? Yeah. Okay. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, uh, I ever talked to you know, uh, Ustaz Ab Abdul Samad. Okay. I ever talked to him, and then he says to me. Hmm. That uh, the proof that the Bible is corrupt is in Isaiah 37 and uh, Second Kings 19. Hmm. The whole chapter is same. Hmm. Uh, even the yeah, the whole chapter is same. I I already read it. <laughs> the whole chapter is same. And he says that this this is a proof that uh, the Bible is corrupt. Okay, my friend. How can, my friend, you how see. Come I'm, I'm not going I'm not going to be, because your 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 teacher Abdul Samud is an idiot stupid because if the Bible is corrupt because of that chapter that's mean only that the chapter is corrupt if this is the proof secondly where we can find Isaiah in the Quran how you can find that this is corrupt book if you don't have the original do you have the true Isaiah I'm saying, do you, as a Muslim, this Abd Abdul Samud, do he have the true Isaiah book? Mm, I guess not. Okay, so how he knew that this is corrupt? Because in order for me to know what is corrupt, what is not, I have to go to, 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 to compare between two books. Supposedly one is the original and one is the false. So how he found out that this is corrupt, Isaiah 37, as you say, this is stupid. This is his own statement. Secondly, as long as he said that this is corrupt and this is Isaiah, that means Allah is a corrupt God. Why? Because he is the one who sent the Injil and he is the one who sent the Torah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. The All right. So Allah, he sent the Torah. Okay. And now Isaiah is corrupt. So Allah book is corrupt. So Abdul Samud is confirming to you, according to his knowledge, that a Torah which is sent by Allah is a corrupt book so that the, the, Allah cannot protect his books. So Abdul Samud is telling you that our God Allah is an idiot. He sent books but he cannot protect them. Is it the Quran? I don't know what's your name. What's your name? What, what shall I call you? You don't have to give your real name. No problem. But what's your name? Brian, Brian, okay, Brian. Okay, did the Quran say that nobody can exchange or change the words of Allah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. And this can be found in chapter 6, verse number 34, chapter 6, uh, verse number 115, chapter 10, verse number 64, chapter uh, 18, verse number 27. So nobody can change the word of Allah. So how Abdul Samud, he said to you that the word of Allah, the Torah and the gospel of Isa and the Torah of Moses and the book of Isaiah. And by, by the way, why, why, why the Quran never mentioned the book of Isaiah? What happened to it? Stupidity. Because now he confirmed to us that Allah the one who made the Quran cannot be the true Allah if he is true God. Someone is fake claiming to be God because nobody can change the words of Allah. Nobody. This is what the Quran is saying. But why is it the same? Hmm? But why is the Isaiah 37 is the same with the 2nd Kings 19? Whole chapter is the same. Why is it the same? What do you mean the same? Same, same. So what, what, what okay, hold on, hold on, what do you mean, what, what do you mean the same, what do, what do you say, explain to me so I can understand you, what do you mean by the same? Same, first by first, same. Okay, my friend, first by first. guys, uh, Isaiah 37 and uh, 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 second. second King is exactly the same, what does that mean? The first or same, is Isaiah maybe right, uh, long ago before uh, second kings right but okay let me let me let me tell you okay 
let us say I wrote I wrote myself uh, a statement today in the year 2020 about Isaiah 37 does that mean that Isaiah is corrupt no, no, no. okay so how if it is you know uh, uh, the story of Jesus written in the book of John written in the book of Luke written in the book of Mark written in the book of Matthew and they are not all written in the same exact moment is that mean there's one of them is corrupt or them they are corrupt Oh, I got, I got your point. Hmm. I got your point. So your your teacher, he is just fooling around with you, and he's lying to you. Same time, this is against Islam, not against me, because you must then believe in the Torah, and you believe in the Injil. Let me ask you: If the uh, are you willing to swear in the Bible now? You say the Bible is corrupt. You are a Muslim. Are you willing to take an oath in the Bible if it's corrupt? No, no, no. Why you will not? Because corrupt? No, no. Okay. So how your prophet, how your prophet, he swear on it? This is your prophet. I don't know. This is your prophet. Read with me. I don't know if you can see the screen. It says, a group of the Jews came to invite the, invite the messenger of Allah. Uh, uh, you know, to come to their place, and they have a discussion about a woman committed adultery. So they ask him about this case. He said, Muhammad said, uh, they placed a question for the Messenger of Allah, and he sat on it and he said, Bring the Torah. Who said for that? Muhammad. He said, Bring the Torah. Okay, is he asking for the corrupt Torah? No way, bring the Torah, and it was then brought. Then he would draw. The cushion from beneath of him and he placed the Torah on it saying I believe in thee and the one him who sent who revealed thee okay so this this edit Abdul Samud who don't dare to call me and speak to me I will call him if he give me his Skype I will be happy to call him and you will see how stupid he is how Muhammad I'm going with Abdul Samud he said to you Torah is corrupt and the proof is there according to him do Abdul Samud have more knowledge of your Prophet Muhammad? No, no, no. no okay. Absolutely. So how Muhammad is taking oath in the corrupt Torah saying, I believe in thee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will check mm. Maybe some slide to me. Okay. But no, we, we, are, not, we are not done. But isn't it the Quran saying that the Quran confirmed the book we have? What? The, the Quran confirmed the book we have? Yeah, Con confirm the Torah, confirm the Bible, confirm the Gospel. Chapter 2, verse number 89, it says, And when they receive a book from Allah, confirming what they possessed in their hand do you read it yeah. chapter 2 verse yeah. number 89 confirming what confirming what is with them what is with us the torah and the injil okay how the quran says that the book the quran confirm our book do you confirm what we have not only the book he confirm what is with them So the Quran confirmed that the book with us is a true. So this Abdul Samud is just having a diarrhea and he turned the fan and he, you know, he started doing poo, poo and the fan is splitting all the poo, poo all over the walls. So what do you think? Don't you think this is a contradiction for all what they say to you? Somebody is lying here. How is Quran confirming what is with them, but what is with them is a lie? Uh, Ustaz Abdul Samad also uh, told me that 
if you want to understand Islam, mm. you should understand Arabic. I don't know nothing about Arabic. Arabic. Mm. And he do he know do he, he do, do this this do this idiot himself, Abdul Samad. Do he know Arabic? Uh, sometimes they read Quran with Arabic. No, language. they recite Quran. So they re no, they recite. They memorize. My friend, they don't know Arabic. They are liars. This is why they are afraid to debate me because debating me will expose their lies. So they say to you, you need, okay, hold on. You just said something very important. You said in order to understand the Quran, you have to know Arabic, correct? Yeah. Okay. Which means Allah, he made a mistake. Because in the Quran, Allah said, he will never send a messenger unless he speak in your tongue and speak your language why the Quran say why read carefully with me and we send not a messenger except with the language of his people in order that he might make the message for them clear do you see it yeah, yeah. that I makes sense it. that's wonderful guys so Abdul Samud said to you in order to understand the Quran or Islam you have to know Arabic that's wonderful I agree and the Quran confirmed that in order to understand a message of God you have to be the message have to be the message itself not you changing it to learning language the message itself have to be in your language now is the Arabic is your language my friend no, no, no. okay but the verse in the front of you saying what the verse saying we never sent a messenger never 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 except by someone through someone who is from the people which means the Prophet have to be Indonesian and he speak the tongue of the people, which means he speak your tongue. Muhammad, do he speak in, in, in Indonesian? Is he Indonesian? No. So the Quran is proven to us again, Muhammad is a false prophet. Because Allah cannot send Muhammad to Indonesia. And the Quran is saying clearly why. So in order to make the message clear for them. So for you, if you are a person who listen to logic this is a very logical verse by the way maybe this is the only verse in the quran is logical god he speak god he send messengers and those messengers they speak in the tongue of the people okay for us even the bible confirmed that when jesus he sent his messengers he gave them the power of speaking languages of the world and that makes sense so they can go and teach and preach they can speak languages and by the way this story is exists in your in your books too in Islamic books that the Hawarin when they came to Jesus Jesus told them go and teach they said to him but we are told you know we are going to go to nations we don't speak the same language as they do they wake up in the morning every one of them speak different language so the Quran confirmed that Muhammad cannot be a messenger for you so why you are a Muslim my friend Okay, if you're correct, if Islam is false, why now Islam is the majority? Islam is what? The majority now. What majority? We are the majority. We are more than three billion, the Christians. We are the majority. We are number one believe in the world. And secondly, what uh, what, what what this have to do with the, who is right? We are number one. We are number one believe in the world. Nobody, there is no other human uh, believe more than the Christian in number no 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 not 3 million not what? 3 million my That's friend just, hold on hold on more, uh, more than 90 percent more than 90 percent of Africa is a Christian almost 100 percent of South America is a Christian almost maybe 90 uh, percent of America is a Christian uh, 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 I mean, where is, what are you talking about? This is very simple number. The Muslims, same time, the Muslims are not a true numbers. As an example, when you when they count the Indonesian as a as a as a religion, they count all Indonesian as Muslims. But in Indonesia, there's about fifteen percent are Christians, correct? Thirteen percent, I think, of Christians. How, ma how many? Maybe how many? Maybe thirty percent. Thirty percent. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure about Indonesia. However, when you when when they calculate the numbers of Muslims, they calculate everybody. But this is this is my friend. I want you to be smart. Let us say I am the only one person who believe in the true God, 
is that will make me wrong? Let us say there's nobody left, nobody left in this earth believe in him. That will not make me wrong. Atheists are big in number two. Does that make them uh, right? This is a very, this is very funny, uh, you know. Muslims, they have many wives, they keep getting divorced, getting married, so they have, they, their population is growing, but that would not make Islam is, uh, is right. Here we go, Islam is false in front of us, you just agreed. So if we have 100 fool believe in a full story, does that make the 100 fool smart and wise? Yeah, yeah, you're right, Mr. Mm. So what do you think? Why why you don't leave Islam, my friend? I mean, is it enough? This verse alone in front of you is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud. It's not so easy, bro. Like, what do you mean not so easy? Religion, there's, no, there's nothing, nothing. Talking about religion is talking about my life. Uh, so what? This is you want to stay. You want to stay in a religion uh, teaching you foolishness that there is a uh, uh, there is a heaven and there is a this heaven have a. Uh, uh, Allah will give you a penis, will never go sleep. How you can sleep in this heaven? I mean, how you can sit down if your penis is always, excuse my language, how you can go anywhere? You have endless penis. huh? You have endless penis. If you want to say hello to your friend, your penis will hit his face. I mean, how in the world this can be yeah. even true? How in the world this is, can be even acceptable? Huh? I also uh, think about how, why, why, why Allah uh, uh, yeah. I'm listening, tell me what. The heaven of the heaven of Islam is different of yeah, nope. was all uh, 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 Brian, Muhammad, whatever you name, my friend, listen carefully. So Allah will give you endless penis, and now you are going to see with my respect your family. Huh? I'm not. I'm not insulting. I'm just giving you an idea how to think about it. Let us say your grandfather, your grandmother, your mother, with my respect to her, she is in heaven with you, and now you have your endless penis. How you can face them? Can you? Your your penis will slam the face of everyone in front of you. I mean, what kind of, what, what is that? I mean, why why a human being, he need an endless penis? What you would do with it? If your wife is next to you in the bed, your penis will be in Mars, in galaxy. So how you wanna have sex with her? He make a U-turn? And what is the benefit of endless penis? That is endless stupidity. Do you go to school, Muhammad? Do you go to school? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what is your education, if you don't mind to share with me? What, what? What is your education, if you don't share with like you don't mind to share? Like, are you like high school, university? What is your education? University. Okay, how the Quran says that the sperm transform into congealed blood. Do you agree with that? Okay. So how Allah can be God? What kind of God he says we made the nutfa into a thick congealed blood, the dead blood. Quran never mentioned that thing. No, mention it. Chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen. Wait, I open it. What? Chapter one. Chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen. I never read this verse before. You never did read this verse before? Okay, but it says in front yeah. of you. What do you think? It's full of no, stupidity. You. You, you say this is impossible. but And yes, this is impossible. This is not what science teaches. This, there is no way that God who created us, he do not know how he, uh, how he made us. We are talking about the one who created us. He do not know how he made us. 
how that can be. Hmm. So why you don't leave Islam, Muhammad? Uh, can I ask you one question more? Sure, ask me as many as you want, no problem, go ahead. You said that the word of Allah means moon god. Huh. From now, uh, moon god, I think it's, I think it's false. Hmm. Well, let us see if this is false or not. You know, we have to be logical. If we go in the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 1, the chapter of Al-Fatiha, you know it, right? Okay. Yeah. This is the name of your God in Arabic. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Second verse, Alhamdulillah Rabbul Alameen. What happened? Yeah. Why the second word is not the same as the first word? Do you notice the difference between them? Let me zoom in for you on the screen. So you can see. Okay. All right, there, there is an alif is missing. Why it's missing? What happened? Because simply it's not part of the word. You cannot take any letter from the name, right? Unless it's not part of it. If your name is Muhammad, your first letter is M. We cannot take it off. Correct? But it's not the proof. No, 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 no. The, the proof is coming. I'm just explaining to you. Here we have first to prove that Allah is not the full name. Allah is containing a, a, a two, a two, two part L and La Allah Allah this is why here it says Alhamdu Li La Li in Arabic Li in Arabic mean two L in Arabic today mean the but the fact the original name this is an, this is an Aramaic name Aramaic word Al is God Al La God La so you go you will see that uh, uh, as an example uh, uh, in, in the in the Hebrew uh, you say Ishmael Ishmael okay the last two letters are E L but in the old Aramaic and the old Hebrew it is not E L it was A Al so it was Ishmael. What does that mean? The word El mean God. The word Al mean God. Daniel, Mikael, Gabriel. So where's the moon words? La, you can go right now. <laughs> Search in Google. We'll take you two seconds. The moon God. You will see it is La. <laughs> la. Why is that the moon God? This is the name. This, this is why the Muslims, if you ask them today, what Allah means, do you know what Allah means? You are a Muslim. Here we go. I'm asking you. I want to learn from you. What the word Allah means? The Creator. No. They don't know what. Nobody knows what it means. Nobody knows what it means. They don't know what it means because simply this is a name they stole it from other belief. So what, what Allah means? It's a name taken from other religions, which is the name of the moon god. What does it mean? I don't know. I ask a guy who is a doctor from the Azhar University. His name is Dr. Rohi. He said, we do not even know who is the first one who used that name. We don't know. And you can watch my debate with him. He do not, he do not know who is the first one who used that name. So this is not a name... This is not the name of God. This is a name you copy and it was spread in the Middle East and in Europe. That La is the, is the, is the moon God. You know, there was the, the sun God and the moon God. They are in competition. This is why Muhammad, he hid the sun God. This is why Muhammad, he forbid Muslims to pray when the sun rise. Why? Because this is the sun God. Those are people of the desert. They hate the sun. For the sun is harmful. It make them die. It kill their animals. It take their, their, it take their grass which is the food of the, the, the animals. So the sun god is not beloved by the Muslims in, by Muhammad and his people in, in Arabia because they are people who live in the desert. But if you go to Europe, they used to worship the sun. Why? Because it's cold. So the sun brings warm, bring grass. It's the opposite. The sun in the Middle East, it killed the grass. It destroyed the, 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 
the the prosper of a human being the sun in europe in cold area it bring grass to bring food bring wealth for it make them warm so because of the location some of the people worship the sun some of the people worship the moon and usually those who worship the moon they are people who live in the desert for they don't have a good experience with the sun your prophet said that don't pray when uh, uh, after the sun rise for this is like the morning prayer for the sun rise from between the horn of the devil do you believe in that that the sun rise from between the two horns of the devil no 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 okay well, so why muhammad is saying that maybe it's, it has another meaning or something what does it mean? But you tell me the meaning. <laughs> no. yeah, he, say, he says, don't pray. And not only that, he says, even the head of Kofor, the, the head of Satan, come from between the two horns of, of, uh, of, of the sun. The prophet stood up beside a pulpit and he pointed his finger toward the east and he said, Affliction are there, affliction are there. From there the side of the head of Satan come out from the side of the sun. Do you see it? I see it. Hmm. Why Muhammad is anti-sun? What is the problem? I thought uh, God, he created the sun for us. Why he is anti-sun? What the problem with the sun? Why the sun became suddenly a problem for Muhammad? Because simply his people, they are people who worship moon. You know, somebody might say to me, there's a verse in the Quran saying, uh, don't pray for the sun, don't pray for the moon. But the moon God is not the moon. The moon God is the one who is in charge of the moon and the, the sun God is the one who is in charge of the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So what do you think? You will stay as a Muslim? Uh, I read Bibles so many times, but I cannot, I cannot, I cannot understand that Allah is God, Jesus is God, Holy Spirit is God. Hmm. How can? How can? Okay, I, I, I will use your logic. How God can be God anyway? Because no, no, no. How can you say that one? But this is three. Allah is God, Jesus is God, Holy Spirit is God. Okay, let me ask you: Are you one or two or three? Me? Yeah. Yeah, one. No, you are not. According to your religion, you are a body and a spirit, and you are united. This is why it's called resurrection. Don't you believe in resurrection? Yeah, I believe. Okay. In what what resurrection mean? Explain to me the word resurrection. No, just explain to about, about this. Why is it it's three? But it's okay. Resurrection is reuniting the body with the soul, correct? Yeah. Okay, so it's not one, it's two. And God, He's Almighty. Is He Almighty or He is not Almighty? He's Almighty. Okay. Is God, is, is he a miracle? He himself? Yeah, he's a miracle. Actually. Okay, so this is the miracle. Explain to me a miracle. You cannot explain it, correct? Which means you cannot really, I mean, you cannot comprehend God. You cannot say to God how you can do that because it's a miracle. So when you say how God can be three and one in the same time, as if you are saying to God, how God, you can be God. He's the almighty. He is the one who can do what what nobody can do so either we question everything you do or we question nothing so we can say now based on your question how you can make it from the dust a human being it's impossible how you can make a soul inside of uh, the mud that's impossible and then you make them uh, uh, as one a creature because this is two soul is something is not physical and mud is something but physical but what if I if I ask someone, my friends, uh, oh. for example, my friends, my friends Christian, he's a Christian, and then I ask him, "Who is your God?" He said, "Jesus." Why does 
Wah ini dengan nasib Allah or or Holy Spirit ada yang is my my God. Because Jesus, the Bible teaches us that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God, which means it's Jesus, for God is one anyway. So Jesus said, whoever saw me, he saw the Father. They said to him, why you don't show us the Father? And that's it. Show us the Father. He said, whoever saw me, he saw the Father. So by seeing Jesus, you saw God. God, because he's a glory, so God, he humbled himself. He came to us in an image of a man, for we can see him. Otherwise, nobody can really see God and live for his glory. So when God, he wanted himself to be appear to us, he humbled himself. So when God, he spoke to Moses in the tree, the Quran speak that if the mountain saw God, the mountain will disappear, will be destroyed. Mountain. Look how solid he is. This is not a human being. So, your Quran saying that nobody can see God and live. And this is something Muhammad, he copied from the Bible. But the truth, no, you can see God and live if God, he humbled himself. Which means he made you able to survive seeing him, but not with his full glory. It's like getting any clothes from the sun. We can't compare the sun to, the, to our God. We are not pagan. But just to give you an example. If you look at the sun right now in the daytime, you will go blind for some time, correct? Yeah. Okay, but this is just a sun, so imagine God. So, in order for God to be seen by us, God, He, Almighty, He can do that. So, He humbled Himself, He came in the image of a man, and that is the Messiah. So, if you ask me, who's your God? I say Jesus. If you ask me second time, third time, I would say the Father. The Holy Spirit, it's the same. It's one person, one, one, one God, three person, one God. So the three person, they are how God present himself as one. God is with us by his Holy Spirit, which means now he is not visible for us, but he is with us. How? As a spirit. God with us when he came to us as a man, that was Jesus. God is up in heaven, that is our Father. It's like when the sun come down to earth the sun have light heat and the sun as a star correct yeah, the sun is a star. Okay. okay when the sun as a star it's a physical star when the sun is a is a is a light is different nature right it's different nature and then and then when the, when the light come to us we feel the heat correct so the sun, yeah. the sun, the sun is a star. So let's say the father is like the sun. The star is there in heaven. Yeah. Remember, I'm not saying my God is a star. That's not what I'm saying. Because some foolish, they would say he's saying that. I'm just making it easy for you to understand. Yeah, so the star is in the sky, yeah, but sure. yet, yet the light of the star coming to this earth. And when the light arrived to us, we feel the heat. The heat, we feel it. We don't see it. We feel it. This is exactly how the Holy Spirit is. So God is, is there. His light came to us that Jesus and his words, for Jesus is the word of God. And then when we when we receive his words, we feel the spirit in us, and that is the same as the heat of the sun. We feel warm and we feel that we are living creatures with God. Yeah, yeah I got your point. I got your point. All right. So what what do you think, my friend? Are you going to stay as a as a Muslim? Is one, Allah is one so one, why Allah, the word Allah is also in the Bible? The word Allah is also in the Bible. That's a good question. This is a translation, my friend. This is a false translation. This is not true translation. Because if to find the word Allah in the Bible, we have to find it in the original Bible. We cannot find that. So this is a translation. The same as in, 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 in English now or in your language, they translate the word Isa, they say Jesus. But there's no Jesus in the Bible. I'm saying this is a translation, the word Allah in the Arabic Bible, that is a translation. This is a false translation. The translator, for those Christians, they live under the Islamic occupation for hundreds of years. So they start using the word Allah, but Allah is not our God. And I am an Arabic Christian, I'm saying that to you. However, 
If you go in the Quran right now and you read the translation about Isa, the Muslim they translate Isa into Jesus. But there's no there's no Jesus in the Quran. Correct? There's Isa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but in English they make it uh, uh, Jesus. So this is a false translation, false large translation in the Quran, false translation in the in the in the Arabic Bible. So if we can't find it in a false translation, that will not make it true. It's still a fraud. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so what do you think? You will leave Islam? Wrong creation for the baby. God do not know who, what he created first. God did not know that he claimed that if the man have orgasm first, the, the baby will be a male. If the women have orgasm first, will baby the girl. Uh, uh, saying stupid things, contradicting himself in the Quran all over. How this can be from God? You leave Islam? Yeah, I leave. Yeah, I leave. All right, my friend. I'm happy for you. What about accepting the Messiah as your savior? Yeah, I accept it. Hmm? Yeah, I accept Jesus. You accept well, Jesus, but what? But why you accept Jesus? Why you accept him as your savior? I read the Bible so many times. And you read the Bible many times. So, okay, I want to ask you. I, I'm happy for you that you accept Jesus now. I'm really happy for you. And don't take me wrong. I'm not a question that's uh, 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 your decision. I'm questioning why this man, Abdul Samad, he was able to convince you for some time that Islam is good. Why he was able to convince you that the Bible is corrupt. And you did read the Bible many times. So shouldn't we think carefully and don't be just following people blindly? You agree with me? I agree with it. Yeah, because people they say whatever, and, and don't don't believe what I'm saying. Check it out. Anything I say to you, I show it in the screen. Please go check it out. And I always show people what I say. So we should not follow people blindly. Not because a Christian prince believes in Jesus. That means Jesus is true God. No, not necessarily. Maybe I'm wrong. So I want you to be smart. I want I want to be sure that you accepted Jesus and you understand really that Jesus is your savior. So do you understand that, my friend? Yes, I understand it. All right. So I let you know. For me, I'm really happy for you that you are an Indonesian man who left Islam. And what about your family? Are they still Muslims? All of them? Slowly, I will talk about them. Do you I will talk with them. Do you like me to talk to them? If you want, I can help you. If you want, even if you don't like it to be in public speech, you can contact me. If you have like, a, well, I don't know if you are married or you have your parents or etc. Whoever of them, they want to talk to me. If we don't to be in, in, in public, we can speak in private and I will be happy to help them. Yeah, okay. All right, my friend. I'm so happy for you. May the Lord bless you. And I will ask all the Christians to pray for our brother here who decided to leave Islam and accepted Jesus the Messiah. Hallelujah for that. May the Lord bless us and bless you and bless your family. And my friend, you have to love your family, even if they are Muslims, still you have even to love them more because they need your help. The Messiah, he said, I came for the sick. So if somebody is sick, we help him. We don't reject him. Correct? Doctor, he come to who? He come not to the one who is healthy. He don't need you if he's healthy. He come to the sick. So your family, they are people you love them. So I want you not to neglect them and to help them and to be loving to them and to be loving to the Muslims. And that will make you a true Christian. Never hate the Muslims. Don't practice what you used to do as a Muslim by following a speech of hate. You as a Christian, you should always love the Muslims. Pray for them. Pray for their safety. Like now there's Corona. We pray for the Muslim safety. The same as we pray to the Hindu. The same we pray to the atheists. The same we pray, I pray for those who hate me. We pray for all of them that they will not be hurt by this Corona. We pray for everybody's safety, not only the Christians, and that will make you a follower, a true follower of Christ. For you reject hate and you fight hate and love will make you victorious, my friend. Yeah. Your voice became so soft, hardly I can hear you, but I can understand you are, you are getting emotional. Thank you for helping. 
Sibi. You're welcome, my friend. God bless you. Take care. Thank you, thank you. Do you want to say anything to the Indonesian before you go? Uh, I want to say that I believe that Christian and Islam is brother, so I just want a peace. But in, in Indonesia, there are so many so many conflict about religions so you can speak in indonesian if you want i will give you uh, if you like like a minute or two to speak indonesian feel free uh, uh, saya berharap di indonesia ada damai antara kristen dan islam so jadi uh, Kita bisa menciptakan damai ini bersama di seluruh dunia. Jadi jangan lagi ada konflik tentang agama dan ras ataupun sebagainya. Okay, that's it. That's it, CP. Thank you, thank you, my friend. God bless you, and we ask the Christian to pray for you and your family. Take care and feel free to call me anytime you want. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> this is what happens when a person is honest honesty win I'm not the winner you are the winner my friend it is you who have been saved today hello yes, show the world that you are truthful Show the world what? Show the world. The guy is still listening. Hmm. The guy who just converted to Christianity. Okay. Show the world that you truthful. Right? Okay. He, he asks you a question and, and you lie to him. Okay. Let us let us go. Right? Let us see about the truthful. The last thing we spoke, me and you, you said there's only one heaven, correct? And I showed you the hadith where your prophet saying there is seven heavens. So who is who is truthful here? All right, now it's good. The guy just you just lied to him. I'm, please, I'm, please, ask, I'm asking you. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You, you can talk about it. No problem. No problem. No problem. But do you admit first that you did lie when you said that there's only one heaven? My, my brother. Hmm. I'm about to show him that you're not truthful, but because you're gonna hang up on me. No, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Say, I'm, I am. I'm I, I, I promise you. you. Okay, I will promise you. Lie. After you finish the answer, I will take the second one about the truthful. Did you lie about saying okay. there's only one heaven, not many? No, you're we're gonna talk about the guy about the killing. We're gonna talk about you saying that Christianity admits the other religions. Uh, about what? Deuteronomy thirteen six ten. Hmm. It says, anyone that does not believe in Christianity shall be, shall be put to death. This is a, this, anyone does not believe but, so you are, as Christ, so, as God, okay, so, uh, shall... Okay, so, okay, and? And you saying that you love Muslims, you're going to pray for Muslims. Jesus, mm. your book did not ask you to do that. Mm, okay. Your book well, is asking you okay, to do Okay, hold on. Read. Okay, hold on. Hold. Okay, 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 okay. This is the law of Moses, and you're a prophet. He approved the law of Moses, and he okay, believed. He, be, he, be, he believed in it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I want you to show me. Hold on, you Muslims, just to show the hypocrisy of the Muslims. You Muslim, you claim that the law of Moses was given. So, so, it's my answer time. It's my answer time. Should I answer? Uh, go ahead. So don't talk. Don't talk when I'm answering. I am not. I'm not talking. Okay. The second. What do you mean you're talking? The second I start talking, you open your mouth. Here we go. Okay. So you're a prophet. He said the one who changes religion, kill him. Did he say that? Yes. The law of Moses, according to Islam, is given to the Jews because if you are a Jew, you are a, a Jewish person and you are an ethnic, which means you betray your nation. In Christianity, there's nowhere it says that if somebody changes belief, 
kill him. Can you show me? So you are contradicting your prophet teaching, saying that the, mo the law of Moses was given to the Christian to practice word by word. When the Bible says, it been said to you, but I say to you. It been said to you, but I say to you. It been said to you, but I say to you. So he came to fulfill, to complete. So the law was for the Jews, yes. And the law was given by God, yes. But there was a reason. But Jesus, he never said, the one who don't believe in me, kill him. Your mic. Right. All right. First of all, don't cut me off till I finish. First of all, you are quoting me a hadith. I'm yeah. telling you what Allah said in the Quran. Mm. There is no compulsion in religion. You mm. cannot force anybody to go in or out of religion. Anybody is free to go. Anybody is free to enter. Mm. Now, Arabs has created their own hadith, bring it, they are trying to kill people. That's not the law of God. God said in the Quran, God said in the Quran, uh, 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 that he do he does not share with his his laws with nobody. Hmm. No one. I share my laws with nobody. My laws are in the Quran. He said, judge by the Quran. He said, remind by the Quran. The Quran is your everything. Now, the Hadith is not reliable. There is no one Hadith that we should be following, but the Hadith of uh, Allah said in the Quran, What other Hadith other than the Quran are you going to be following? Now, I'm quoting you your book. Your book says, and the God of the Old Testament is the God of the New Testament. So if Jesus is God, that Jesus is law. Jesus said he comes not to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. Mm -hmm. If he's fulfilling the law, the law is saying that whoever does not believe in him as a, uh, as God shall be put to death. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, I got so many verses. Mm -hmm. That's Deuteronomy 13, 6, 10. Mm -hmm. In Deuteronomy 17, 12, it says the same thing. In Leviticus 20, 27, it says the same thing. Mm -hmm. In 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 15, 12 and 13, it says the same. Mm. In Leviticus 20, 13, it says, kill the fornicators. In mm. Deuteronomy 17, 1 to 20, mm. it says, stall. It, it, the idol worshippers should be stoned to death. Mm. So I can quote you 100 verses in Jeremiah 48, 10, mm. in 1 Corinthians 7, mm. 13 to 14, mm. who is all deaf. You're not going to see one time. Okay, read the, okay, hold on. Can I answer? Quran, can, I answer? They, uh, can, can I answer? Can I answer? One sentence. Can I answer? One time in the Quran hmm. where it says, kill somebody. You oh. only kill two, three people in, in, in the Quran. Hmm. Some, one, one who kills somebody. Hmm. If you kill someone, you got to be killed. Hmm. Or if you spread corruption, you got to be killed. Hmm. Or if you, uh, th there's a third one. If um, whoever kills, uh, be, well, yes, whoever hmm. betrayed his mm. army mm. and deserted and to go sell mm. the secret to another army mm. shall be put to death. Mm. That's only three people that are being killed in the Quran. You Your book are pulled even if a, 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 a woman mm. and you, a man are you fornicates. Are they you? agree to sleep together. Are They're you? two Christians. They sleep together. They should be put to death. That means that the whole world of Christianity should be put to death. Another lie you lie, you said in Africa, you got 90% of Christians. You're a damn liar. You got 40, 40%. 40. You go to 90. Lying. Okay. How the hell are, you are, get 90% of Africa being are you, Christians? Are you done? Stop lying. Are you done? You said 90. Are you, you done? Recorded. Okay. I recorded it. Can I talk? You can that. I talk? Go ahead. Okay. It's your mic. Don't let me talk. For, Al Jazeera TV is the one who said that. You can watch Al Jazeera TV. About 16,000 Muslims leave in Islam a day. And this is the number they said, not me. This is number one, shut up. So if they are lying, it's mean Muslims are lying at me. Secondly, you just said that in the New Testament, it says you kill somebody who don't believe in Jesus. This is absolutely false. You are a liar. Secondly, you said that Jesus, he came to fulfill, but Jesus, he is the one. When they came to stone the women to death, he says, if one of you do not have sin stone her. So you are a liar again. He did not stone her. He saved her and he showed them that they are a bunch of hypocrites and they are not following truly the law of Moses. Number four, you said in the Quran, there's nowhere it says that kill anyone. The whole Quran is about killing. Chapter 9, verse number 29, specifically speak about killing the Christians and the Jews. 
unless they pay you money. If they pay you money, they can live. And you said that the hadith is a fabrication. Anyone who don't believe in the hadith is a liar and the proof is the following. The Quran in chapter 4 verse 24, it says you do muta. Do you practice muta? You just said everybody heard you. That the Bible says if a man and a woman, they have sex together, they will be put to death. But in Islam, we don't find such a rule in the Quran. What is the punishment of a man and a woman? They are married in Islam and they sleep together. The mic is yours. The man and the woman, to start with your last question, who fornicate is in chapter 24, verse 2. Hmm. A zaniyat wa zani, a man or a woman. Hmm. God does not be thanked, just like he said, those who steal, a woman or a man who steal, that it, there's no distinction between married or, or not married. Hmm. Whether you're married or not married, if you fornicate, it's 100 lashes. Stop lying. Hmm. That's first. Hmm. You're lying saying that in the Quran, it is not... Uh, there's no verse talking about the mm. married people. Yes, mm. a man or a woman, married or not, it does not matter. Mm. Stop lying. Where it says that? Second of all, let, shut up. Let me. It's my time. No, no. Before you finish, where it, where it says that? Where it says that? It's recorded. It's recorded. No matter what. Where it says that? No, no, show me where it says a married. We don't change the topic. Where it says if a married right. man in the Bible it says it clearly. If a single and a man he rape a woman. He have to be killed, otherwise, if the woman she agree, she he, he can marry her. If a man is married, he have to be killed. Now show me in the Quran why where we can find the law of Moses. Why, why, why are you cutting my time off? I'm not. I'm not off? I don't want you to change topic. You did not show I'm me the not verse. Topic. Okay. I'm talking about killing. Okay. What is the verse? I'm not topic. What is the verse about married women and men if they commit adultery in the Quran? We not. will punish them. Uh, listen, you're not gonna. You're not gonna calc. You're not gonna uh, picture the Bible in the Quran. No, <laughs> I'm telling you the laws in the Quran. Mm. So then, then you're gonna tell me what is a what is a law for a married woman who steal mm. or a married man who steal? Mm. God does not care if you married or not. Mm. Married or not, it, it said whoever for, whoever kills or whoever steals or whoever or whoever fornicates, man or woman. Mm. 100 lashes. That's I'm giving you a verse. Mm. Don't be stupid. And no need to say, oh, married or not married. No. And no distinction between married. There is not one time a distinction between married and not married. The way we're worshipping, that's the same man and woman. Mm. Whoever steals, that's the same punishment. Man and woman, married or not. Whoever fornicates, that's the same punishment. Man or woman, married or not. Mm. Stop making a distinction where Allah is not making a distinction. That's what you lie. You rely in, in some fabrications made up by Arabs. Al Arab wa Ashadu Kufran wa Nifagan is from God. So you hear mm. uh, everything you say, you're basing it on, uh, on the Hadith. You can never criticize the Quran. Second, you said the Quran says kill the people in chapter 9. Allah said fight them. How can you say kill people? Then, then they pay the jizya. How can a, death, a dead man pay the jizya? Fight is not kill, it's fight them till they pay the jizya. Mm. Killing and fighting, how can you replace the word fight and mm. the word killing? Mm. That's, it shows your deception, it shows your lies, it shows you're not truthful. Now, what else you said? Quote me now. I want you to put Deuteronomy 13, 6, 10 on the screen and read it for, for, for him to read. Put it out there. And you said Jesus come to fulfill the law but he's not for, but he's not really fulfilling the law what do you mean is he a liar he said i come not to abro abrogate the law that's from jesus that's his mouth himself saying that i am not denying the law hmm. the, the the law of moses i came here to follow to fulfill mean to follow to implement to make it more efficient i this is the law of moses i'm following i came not to abrogate Abrogate is to eliminate, to stop. He's not stopping the laws of Moses. He's following the laws of Moses. Because that's another proof that he's not God. That because the God of Moses is the God of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus did not send, uh, send him. Jesus Are did not done? send Moses. Are you done? So Moses came. Don't be. Every time he got caught, he said. The 
You are gone. Are you there? That's the, that's the, that's the double argument you can have. If Jesus is God, you sh if, if you believe in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, you should never, ever. That's right there, Antichrist. That's right there. You are blaspheming, saying that this is the law, old law. And now old law, Jesus say it's the new law. Hmm. It came to fulfill. If not, so tell me what is the laws in the New Testament. Okay. Tell me are now. You done? Are you what done? is the law for, are you done? for fornicators? Are you done? Tell me in the New Testament. Uh, tell me what is the law. Are you going to let somebody? me talk? Yes. Are you there going to no speak into the law? You see, I gave you, I gave you already ten jokes. minutes. Let me talk. Okay, Abdul, listen. You did argue with me many times, calling me many times, saying that the Arab is not Arab. And you don't, you just say that the Arab, the Arab, you see how stupid you are. So now you get yourself busted. You are the one who said the Arab are the Arab. But you told, you called me more than 30 times saying to me, Christian prince, the Arab are not the Arab. And now it's recorded. I want to post that in your channel. Secondly, you said that here it says fight. It doesn't mean kill. They fight by what? By the sword. So the one who stay alive, who is the one who don't die? Those who don't die after we win, or maybe after they surrender, then they have to pay jizya, otherwise they will be killed. We can go right now to any book of interpretation of the Quran, and you will see, as an example, Ibn Kathir, one of the biggest scholars say clearly that Allah Prophet, he ordered the Muslims to go and kill the Christians for they all left the faith. And Allah, he ordered them to be, the Muslim to be, to humiliate them and to revenge and to, to torture those who live even after they pay the jizya, they have to be tortured. You said, and you avoid all my questions saying that you believe only in the Quran, but there is no Muslim who is a true Muslim, he believe only in the Quran. I ask you, in the Quran, there is a verse about the muta. And you said, everybody heard you, in Christianity, according to you, if a man and a woman, they sleep together, all the Christians should be killed because you are saying they are sleeping together. And now I ask you, what is the punishment in the Quran for sleeping together? You said only 100 lashes and you said that this is only thing I follow. Okay, do you follow muta? You avoid answering that because the only place we can find that the muta is forbidden is in the Hadith. And then you say to me, that if you are a person who believe in Jesus, you follow the law of Moses. Well, I did not deny the Moses, the law of Moses, but it's obvious you are stupid and ignorant. Jesus, and I said to you, Jesus said, it being said to you, but I say to you as an example, he said, they said to him about Saturday, your followers, they are working in Saturday. He said, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for the Sabbath. So the Jews, they have a wrong understanding. And this is how Jesus, he fulfilled the law. He made them have an understanding that the Sabbath is re for exists for a reason. But God is not really caring for the Sabbath. He cared for the man. So that he gave them Sabbath. So those are greedy who will not take vacation or their servant, they have to work 24 hours, seven days a week. He forced them to stop. And that was the law. So he's saying Sabbath was made for the man, that the man was made for Sabbath. In the same time, in the Quran, we find that your God, Allah, is accepting the law of Moses. So it says in the Quran, and you are the funny, you are saying that, you know, is the Quran, it says that in, 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 the, in the order of, uh, 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 in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, woman for the women. So you are the one who said, and everybody heard you, you go only by the Quran. What kind of God, he says, a free for a free, Women for a woman, slave for a slave, which means a black for a black, because the word here in Arabic is abid, which means a black slave. Chapter 2, verse 178 said clearly, All who you believe in qasas, which means the punishment of the law of equality, the punishment are prescribed to you in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, female for the female. And the word slave here is abid, which means black slave. So you are a person who follow such a stupid belief you murder a slave even though the one who killed is the owner. That is a murder. So look how many lies you came to me with. You said we don't kill. And in the top of that, when you say I don't believe in the hadith, this is just to wash your hands. But you are the one who called for me hadith before. And you are the one who said to me you believe in this hadith. And we have you recorded. So you are an officially a liar, a stupid, who keep changing his words, depend in the mood and depend in the station. Uh, what else he said? Hmm, let us see. Uh, the law of Moses. You said 
that in the law of Moses, hold on, in the law of Moses, if a woman, she commit adultery, if she is married, which means the Bible say clearly, if she is married, you said in the Quran, there's no such a thing, correct? So, and you are saying, God don't care if you are married or not. Let us see if this is true or not. Your God, he care and he allow you to have sex with married women. Here we go. We will see. Hold on. We will quote the verse. Let us see. <laughs> Here we go, chapter 4, verse number 24, shut up. Chapter 4, verse 24, it says, Forbidden for you women already married, except your right hand on possess. So your God, Allah, he allow you to do fornication with married women. And this is why you are saying to me, yeah, in Islam, in the Quran, we don't have such a, such, such a thing. Because in Islam, it doesn't matter if you are married or not. The fact the Quran say clearly, if you are married, but you are a slave, Still, you can sleep with your uh, uh, sleep with the, with the master who own you, even though you are married. And this is Quran. I'm quoting the verse, so I'm going to go back to you. Chapter four, verse twenty-four. The same verse we are quoting right now. It is about muta, and it's about having sex with women who you hire them for money, for one night or two night stands. The Muslim Sunni today they say that this is a forbidden, it, abrogated by the Hadith, and you said you don't believe in the Hadith. So do you still practice muta? Go ahead. Okay, first of all, everything. If muta is in the Quran, I will go by the Quran. Mm. Do you want the muta? If muta, you know, let me finish. I didn't cut you off. <laughs> I do not go by the hadith. You are a liar if you say that I ever go by the hadith. Now look how coward you are. You coded that verse. You said forbidden to you is also the married woman. Forbidden to marriage. You cannot marry a married woman. Mm. You see how sneaky you try to be? Mm. Allah saying that you, Allah, why, why, why didn't you quote the verse before? It mm. says you cannot, or is it going to say you cannot rape your sister? You cannot mm. rape your, 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 your mother? Mm. Is it already saying? No, you mm. cannot marry your sister. Mm. You cannot marry your mother. You cannot marry your niece. You cannot marry your father's uh, wife. You cannot marry your, 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 uh, those who share the uh, who share the, uh, uh, the 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 suckling with you. You cannot marry. You cannot marry. It says you cannot also marry a married woman. And now you are twisting it. Look how sneaky you are. Look how how coward you Show are. Me. You cannot tell the truth. You're gonna have to invent. Show, you're gonna have to lie. Now, I, you. I will say one word. 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 Hold on. I, I have to cut you. I have to cut you. I have to cut you here. Show me that this is only about Mary. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Before you continue, you are trying to you are trying to scare the disaster. I want you to show me a proof. I want you to show me a proof. I'm listening. You, you are cutting me off. Show me a proof. Yes, show me a proof because I want proof. No, you are going to jump. No, no, no. We don't want to go back in circle. I want. No, no. I want you to finish. I want you to finish your time. I want you, please, to give me the proof. Who is the one who agree with you, Carol? Carol, Carol. Who is the one who agree with you about what you said? Because some of what? Shut up. When you say something, call me back. When you say something, you have to prove it, not a speech. Everything you said is a speech. This is about not to marry. Show me where it says. Where it says it don't marry them. Call me back, potato. This is not him. This is who? Hello. That's me. This is you. Okay. Let me finish so listen. my time. No, show me. Okay. Now I just proved that. No, you proved nothing. I said show me. I said show me. You are a coward. You are a liar. Show me where it says. Those are women who they are married, don't marry them. Where it says that in the verse? Here we go. Read verse 23, the verse before it. My friend, read, it. read the verse before it. Read, read, read the verse before And it's all, hold on. Hold on. Okay. No problem. No, show me what it says. Show me what it says. Forbidding for you to marry women who they are married. You stupid, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid. It, okay, 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 okay. I will go with you. 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 Shut up. Son of Muta. It says here, except, so you just said something very important. Guys, but be my witness. The coward, he exposes God. It says, already forbidden for you, already forbidden for you to marry a married woman according to ultimate four. But here it says, except. So how they are married and you will marry them? Go ahead. Except those women who 
flew from their husbands in a war and come. They're married, right? Mm -hmm. If 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 uh, if uh, America is fighting France, mm -hmm. America is a Muslim country. Mm -hmm. France is a Christian or whatever country. Mm -hmm. If some women from France flee their husband and want to join Islam, oh. yes, they was previously married, mm -hmm. but now that they have flew from their country, they the Muslims. Okay, I have to hang up on you because you're a potato coward. You call me back. It says between two bracket captives and slaves. You are a coward son of Muta again. Show me where this is women who flee. Flee? They took airplane and they flee. It says in the front of us. This is your Muslim translation. Call me back. I have to hang up on you because you will not let me talk. We cannot talk at the same time. It says except the captive and the slave. Call me back. Potato. Call me back. Coward liar, I will call you. <laughs> answer, answer, ultimate fault, answer. He's not answering. Okay, this is saying in front of us, captive and slave. And you can go and read all the Islamic interpretation. This guy, he gave his speeches. He is a liar. He is a stupid. He is a donkey. Ultimate. Why are you cutting me off? Hmm. So, because we can talk at the same time. Does it say in the screen in front of you, captive and slave? Does it say captive and slave? Or I'm making things up? Why are you cutting me off, brother? I'm not your brother. I'm not your brother. Don't. I, I don't. I don't bother liars. No. Listen. Does it say? Does it say captives and slaves? Yes or no? In the Quran, in Islam. Does it say captive or slave? Does it say captive or slave? Don't change the Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Does it say captive or? Does it say captive or slave? Does it say captive or slave? Um. Why are you cutting me off, though? I'm asking you. Does it say captive or slave? Kept on cutting me off. I never cut does it say? Does it say yeah. captive or slave? Because no. you are jumping. Me. I, I don't go by speeches. You have to give me a proof. Each time we talk, I give you the time. You speak for the minute. You give me a speeches. So now give me the proof. Okay. Who who is the one agree with you? This is not about captive or slave. Shut up. Shut up. No 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 no. I will not let you talk unless you prove it. Otherwise, you have to admit that you are an official liar. Call me back. You have to show me one Muslim agree with you. That this is not about captive or slave. If there's one Muslim agree with you that this is not about captives and slaves, yes or no? I said, let me finish. I'm asking you, if there's one Muslim agree, if there's one Muslim agree with you, I will let you finish. If there is, if there is one Muslim agree with you, no, this is not. No, 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 no. Because if they, are, if you are the only one, if you are the only Muslim who have this belief, it means you are not a Muslim. Okay, who is okay? No problem. Here we go. So, so shut up, don't call me again because you are playing games. Obviously, you are a coward, you are a son of Muta. You are not reading the Quran. It says in the Quran, Malakat Aymanukum, you donkey. This is the Arabic word, your right hand possess your donkey. You are not reading the Quran. So we give you 10 minutes, you give me speeches. We don't believe in that. We don't believe in this. We don't believe in this. But you give me no proof. This guy, he have his own version of Islam. In the front of us, it says, whom your right hand possess. Between two brackets, the captives and the slaves. Which Muslim agree with you? Not a single one. So Prophet Ultimate Fort, he have a new Islamic religion. Nobody agree with it except him. So why want I talk to you? <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. You see why I lose my voice? I say to you, just give me the proof. Let us read the verse. Okay, read the verse. It says your right hand possess you, idiot. Which interpretation agree with you? Not even single one. You are a fraud. So this is what this guy he do. He call, he call names. 
in the Old Testament says, kill a man and a woman. You see how serious the, the, the book of God about fornication? You admit it in your book, not a single time mention about killing a fornicator. For Muhammad is a fornicator anyway. And not only that, this chapter is about muta. Let me show you what the Muslim believe about muta. And then he will say to me, I don't go by the hadith. Do you know why he say, I don't believe in the hadith? Because the hadith will prove me right. Will prove him to be a liar. So what we say, we say, I don't believe in the hadith. The coward, he is the one who said to me that the heaven have 100 ranks. God, did he say that? Did he say the heaven 100? This is in the hadith. This is not in the Quran. One hundred floor. When you say to me that the heaven is one hundred floor, you get this from where? From the hadith. But you just said you don't believe in the hadith. Do you see how stupid you are? Guys, do you remember what he said? Did he say that the heaven, he wanted to get me busted supposedly, because I said there is seven heaven. He said, no, the heaven is one heaven, but there is one hundred a floor. Did he say that? So how you don't believe in the hadith, but you are getting this from the hadith? Simply because you are a fraud, like you're a prophet. Because either you believe in it, the hadith, or you don't believe in it. So why you are quoting it if you don't believe in it? So a second ago, the heaven is one floor, 100 floor. A second after, he don't believe in the hadith. The hadith is made by the Arab, and this guy he called me a hundred times, saying to me the Arab, the word uh, the Arab are not Arab, and now he said the Arab, the Arab. He said that this is a hadith, and the coward, he is the same as his prophet. Each time he talk, he think by speaking too much, calling names. You know, the Old Testament speak about King absolutely. You see the hadith? This is what you quote for me, you potato. You did not quote Quran. And it is da'if. So not only you quote for me a hadith, you quote for me a da'if hadith. Do you see how we get him busted? He don't believe in the hadith. But the heaven is under the floor. So this guy not only he accept hadith, he accept even the da'if. Don't forget guys to copy this recording and post it in his channel or next to him so he can people they can laugh at him. I don't believe in the hadith. It's written by the Arab the fabricator, but this guy he called me more than 30 times to say to me that the word Arab. That does not mean Arab. He said the Arab, the Arab, the Arab. <laughs> and the funny, I am the Arab and he is not. And he want to teach me what Arab mean. And he keep calling me. A Christian prince, Arab does not mean Arab. Christian prince does not mean Arab. The Arab, does, yeah, you idiot. I don't know. He, he said to me, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean Bedouin too. You see it? Those are the Bedouin, the Arab. And he said the Arab, the Arab. 
so you know we encourage people like those but uh, there is no need for me to waste more time shouting and screaming because dignity is a must in any conversation if you are going to lie from now until tomorrow you say to me it doesn't say that but it says that in the front of me it says clearly your right hand process if we open right now any Islamic interpretation with no exception all of them they agree that those are the slaves all of them never waste your time with somebody he make his own belief because we are debating Islam we are not debating his belief if this is what he believed this is a new religion the Quran in front of us and he said let us read the verse let us read the verse before it it says unlawful for you unlawful for you unlawful for you yes but it says here except you idiot also forbidden for you married women except who slaves he said those are the women who flees what flees where those are their slaves it says in the verse your right hand process in Arabic Illa ma malakat aymanakum. if we open right now any interpretation who is a Muslim in the chat who is a Muslim in the chat choose for me any interpretation you accept and you will see all of them they agree with me not a single one of them agree with this false liar this is why I don't respect you this is why I call you donkey this is why I call you fart and the funny you are the one who call me liar and Jesus yes said love your enemy so the coward there he understand that if the law of Musa says if somebody is a criminal he killed somebody kill him that is Jesus hating you but isn't it Jesus in the Bible says love your enemy pray for them so obviously you are fabricating your own meaning to make it fit your propaganda and you are so upset because a Muslim he just left Islam and he accepted Jesus same time if you are not going to practice muta He said, I accept everything in the Quran. That's mean Mr. Ultimate Thought, he rent women every Friday evening for sex. He said that. He said, I don't accept the Hadith. He said, I accept the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Remember, he don't go by the hadith. The hadith only is the one that says that this is an abrogated verse and Muslims Sunni don't follow no more. The Shia, they keep following it because they believe in order to be abrogated, they have to be Quran. Now let us see what Ibn Kathir says because either Ibn Kathir, he's agreeing with Ibn, with Ibn Fart or he is agreeing with me. This is Ibn Kathir. And why Ibn Kathir he will agree with the Christian prince? You tell me. And by the way, Ibn Kathir, all his book is full of lies because supposedly this book is not to explain the Quran but to defend Islam. Except those whom your right hand possess, except whom you acquire through the war. Do you see it? Women already married, except those whom your right hand possess. Coward potato. And this is about the muta. And not only that, Muslim believe that muta is a practice of renting women. You see here, we, 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 we don't want to have a speeches. We want proofs and reference. This guy, he makes speeches. Let me show you what the Muslim believe. How this is can be from God. You tell me.
He just quote for us that the Bible speak speak clearly against fornication. Clearly, we have a book. It's called Quran. Teach that you can rent women for one night stand or three days. Read carefully with me, please. In some work, and this is what? This is Islam.org. This is not a Christian website, as you see. This is not a Christian website. Take, take a note. This is the Muslim explaining to us, to us their Quran. In some work, a special terms up, is applied to women who participate in muta, musta'jara. What musta'jara mean? Rented or rented women. Do you believe it? We have a God. His name is Allah. A prophet. His name is Muhammad. He teach his followers that you can rent women for sexual enjoyment. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because in general a man basic is aim is kind of marriage is sex this this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment. So this is not a marriage, this is sex of a woman, and in return of his enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or property prostitution. This guy he said he don't accept the hadith. So he practiced muta. His sister practiced muta. Maybe his mother she practiced muta too. And here is giving you the explanation for the rental. Rental. So he quote for us verses from the Old Testament about how serious the crime of a married man committing fornication and what, how serious the punishment is. It is death. He quote for us from the Quran that if somebody did the zani was zaniya, they did fornication, we do lash them 100 times. First of all, this is not about married people and all Muslims agree. This is about single. Secondly, let me show you something. We'll show how stupid Islam is more. If a man is a homosexual in the Quran, you beat him with sandals. You beat him with what? With sandals. If a woman she is a homosexual, she is a she is a lesbian, you jail them until they die. This is the stupid rules of the Quran. <clears throat> oh, sorry, this is chapter five. Oh, hold on. How this is can be from God? What happened? And those of your women who commit illegal sexual, not intercourse, not intercourse, no, it's a sexual relationship, take evidence against them. And if they committed adultery, they stay at home until they die. But this guy, he said he take only the Quran. Will the Quran contradict itself? Because he just said to us, 100 time lashes for fornication. Okay, this is fornication here. It says you jail them until they die. And if two men, here in the alliance says men and women, that's not true. If two men, but I will go, I will go with him because it says, uh, uh, according to the translation, men and women will go with it. Among you who commit illegal sexual intercourse, punish them both until they repent. Okay, which one will take? This one saying, we jail them until they die. This one saying, until they repent. 
The fact is the first one about lesbian. If two women, they have sexual uh, relationship. And you know, we can open the interpretation. I'll just go, hold that a second because they might say, well, it doesn't mean that this guy is making things up. This is not about what he's saying. Let us see. Give me a second. Never waste your time with somebody he don't want to give a proof for what he say. He say, hey, read the Quran, read the Quran. He don't want us to read anything from the Muslim belief because simply that will prove that he is fabricating things. So he said he want to read the Quran and he want to accept only his own interpretation. The rest of the Muslim scholars are donkeys. He is the only scholar and he don't even know how to read the, his, his God or names in Arabic. Uh, let us see. I'm just offering the interpretation. Give me a second. <sighs> Never give them a chance. To talk forever, prove nothing. You want to prove it? Go ahead. You want to make a speech? No. <clears throat> All right, let us see some tafsir for those verses so we can love together. If two men, they have sexual relationship, in, according to the Quran, what we do? We beat them with sandals until they, re, until they repent. Read with me carefully. Finally, this website, because this website sometimes doesn't open. You have to click many times, many times, refresh. Okay. And if two of, of you commit that, the loot act, loot act, adultery or homosexuality, intercourse, punish them both with insult and beating them with sandals until they repent. Do you see it? So the punishment of homosexuality in Islam is to beat a gay by a sandal. But he might get excited more if you do that. This guy, he follow only the Quran, he said. Well, this is the Quran. No punishment. It just says, hurt them. It doesn't even say, punish them. فَآذُوهُمَا Hurt them. It doesn't say, punish them. فَآذُوهُمَا Ada is hurting somebody. How we, how we hurt them? Beat them both by beating them with sandals but if they repent let them go so how come if the women they do the same act we jail them until they die but if there is two men they have the same action we beat them with sandals do you see how this cult work well this guy, he said to us, if you commit adultery, fornication, God don't make a difference if you are a male or a female. doesn't matter if you are married or not. He said that. And the punishment is 100 times. So what this, so what this one is about? And what the one before it is about? J. 
jail them until they die until they die hypocrisy stupidity so look what we have we have muta and the muslim they don't consider that fornication this is a clear evidence that this is against the law of moses against the god of moses the guy he quote for us from the law of moses how god he make it so clear that if there is a man who rape a woman the punishment of death if a man he's married and a woman she is married the punishment is death here yeah, very lousy religion and not only that, Muhammad, he said it clearly. Now he will say he don't accept the hadith, but we get him busted. He accept the hadith because he said to me that the heaven is 100 time level. This is hadith and this is the if hadith, according to them. But by the way, the if hadith is still accepted. Don't, don't think the if is bad. No, it's just a rank. But the funny is not only quoting a hadith, he's quoting the if hadith. Uh, Muhammad, he encouraged men and women to have sexual intercourse for fun. That's why it's called muta. Read carefully. Allah Messenger said, if a man and a woman agree between two brackets to marry temporarily, it doesn't say marry doesn't say anywhere in the hadith in Arabic the word marriage read it anyone who speaks Arabic he can see I'm saying the truth Allah Messenger no marriage any man and women they like to live together for three days three night if they like if they like it they enjoy it they can increase or they can separate read it Allah Messenger, he said, if a man and a woman agree to share bed, not to marry, their sharing of the bed should last for three nights. If they like to continue, then they could do so. And if they like to separate, they can do so. Do you see it? Why well, you are cutting me off? Because I want you to, you know, I give you the mic for 10 minutes. You give me a speech of your own false Islam. This is not, this Islam doesn't exist. Secondly, the stoning to death was in the Quran as a verse, but the goat ate it. If you remember the story. He said there is no punishment for death in the Quran. The fact this is was Quran. The verse of a stone into death. Who said that? Aisha. This guy he's saying Aisha is a liar. Of a stone into death and breastfeeding for adult ten times. So Islam teach breastfeeding for adult ten times, which is very lovely. Any any adult will like it, especially if you are a pimp. You go in the street, start suckling women. And verse of a stoning. So this is a verse. This is a verse and this is a verse. Both of them they are verse, are missing from the Quran. How is missing? The paper revealed, and the paper was with me under the pill, my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a, a tame sheep came and ate it. This is why this guy he said to us, he don't want to accept the hadith, but the fact he do, we got him busted. He said, I never said to you, I accept the hate. You just did in the previous call. You said to me, the heaven, you are a liar. The heaven is one and there's 100 rank. You did. You are a liar. It's not this is hadith. This is not in the Quran. Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Who is next will leave Islam? 
Actually, this guy, Ultimate Far, today, I don't know how many people believe Islam after what he said. He said that all the hadith is fabricated, but the hadith, the hadith is collected by the same people who collect the Quran. The Quran they have today is recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation. There's no book. And both of them, they start being collected in the same period of time. And if the Muslims accept those hadith for all those centuries with the Quran, that means they examine them both in the same time and they accept them both. So why this guy is saying, and the Quran say clearly, Allah wa Rasul, which mean Rasul wa Allah, which means you have to obey Muhammad, not only obey Allah. So how we obey Muhammad if we don't accept the hadith? Because if you obey Allah, that's the Quran. You see, all those verses saying the same. You have to obey the Prophet. The one who obey the Prophet, actually he obey Allah, he is Allah. He who obey the Messenger has indeed obeyed Allah. Okay, the Prophet, he gave an order. What we call it? See, this is the Prophet now we have to obey. Allah, he, the Quran, okay, we obey the Quran. How we can obey the messenger? And if you are saying that we do not need the hadith, okay, the Quran is a stupid book, nobody can understand it. Based on your statement, we should not have any book beside the Quran. So how do you understand what happened here? Which hadith is rejected by Fifi? They can, you know, they can reject whatever they want. Uh, <clears throat> anything, that, that, you know, they don't like, they reject, obviously. Isn't it obvious? I don't accept the hadith, but the heaven is 100 rank. Learn at least from your prophet how to lie. <clears throat> the Arab are not the Arab. The Arab are not the Bedouin. <clears throat> Here we go. He just admit today by his stupidity that he was lying to me all this time he called me. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? You know, sometimes we are bored. We let him call because we want to have fun. But there is no point of continue. That's it. When a Muslim he says something to you and not a single Muslim agree with him, obviously he is a fraud. Who is the Muslim agree with you? He will not tell us. So no Muslim agree with you? So this is a religion only you believe in it? Because if this is your understanding, that means this version of religion, it's only your version. Well, then we are not talking about, there's no need to talk to you because you are the only new religion who believe in something nobody believe in. Either you are calling to explain to us what Muslim believe or what only you believe. Muhammad Al-Fariz, uh, okay, why he call me? Don't call me, call me Mr. Muhammad. Call me Mr. Muhammad, go ahead.
you did my you said jesus don't uh, say kill and i showed him the chapter 9 29 he says it says fight not kill how you fight in which what do you use you use a lip stick you fight you conquer you kill as many as you kill and then the one who stay alive you force them to pay the jizya and they have to be subdued and they have to be humiliated if you go here we go just to show you how they lie i mean amazingly this stupidity it's just it they, they help me by the way because the more they lie the more people wonder okay why if this guy is a truthful he is believing in true god why is lying Quran teach that anyone is not a believer, he is filthy, dirty, and he is impure, and Muslim, they believe in no go zone. There is a place where only for holy, clean people, and those are Muslims, anyone is not a Muslim, is a pig. The Quran in front of you. The Jews, the Christians, the Hindu, the Zabudas, according to Islam, they are najis. They cannot enter. This is why there is a sign in the way, in the highway of Mecca and Medina. It says Muslims only. If you enter this place, you will be arrested and you might be killed. When Muhammad, the, the Muslim, they, uh, they, they start kicking out those who they are not Muslim from the Mecca and nobody lived there anymore doing business. So he said to them, Allah, he told me, if you feel that you will get poor, Allah will reach you out of his bounty. Okay, bounty? What bounty? How? Go and attack the Christian and the Jews. Do you see it? And feel themselves subdued. Allah mean he will be. This is, will be your conception. For a closed market. That you feared would result. Therefore Allah. Order them. Because they lost their jobs. They closed. They, 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 because they believe now that people or that Muslim are dirty. So they kick them out. From the market. He said them, don't worry. I will order you to attack the Christians. And force them to pay jizya. So the Christian, they have to work and you and they make money for you so you can live. Do you see it? He said, This is not about killing them. Okay, fight against those who don't believe in Allah, know the last day, know forbidden what is forbidden. But so, what the purpose of this fight? They don't believe in Allah, supposedly. The word fight in Arabic is coming from the word qatala. Qatilu. Qatala mean kill. Qatilu mean kill. Fight and kill. And we knew that Muhammad, he sent the three letters to three kings saying, convert or die. Aslam taslam. Until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued. Therefore, people of the scriptures disbelieve because, because they believe in, disbelieve in Muhammad, because they did not believe in Islam, so we have now to humiliate them. Read carefully. They lie to us. They say jizya is tax. Don't you pay tax? No, that's not a tax. Read. Until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam. So the Muslim, they come to your country, country, conquer it, and now you have to pay jizya in order to live. Otherwise, they will kill you. With willing submission, defeat. You see the word defeat? In defeat. And feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated. This is not tax. This is the mafia. Actually, the, the, you know, the mafia in Italy, they learn, like in Malta, they learn this, like you see in the movie, when the mafia go to a store, say to him, pay for protection. They learn that from the Muslims' occupation when they occupy that part of Italy. This is how the mafia started. The Muslim came and they go to stores. Give us money to protect you from ourselves. From who? From ourselves. When the Muslim withdraw, the criminals took over and they do exactly the job of the Muslims in Italy. Pay if you want to live. Protect you from who? From us. Therefore, read carefully. Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of Dimma or elevate them above the Muslims. For they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim recorded, Allah saying, the Prophet of Allah said, Don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians, and if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the most narrow alley. This is why 
Muhammad ordered the Muslim to humiliate you and force you to work in the sewage. In the old days, there's an open sewage in the side of the road. So if the Muslim walking by and you are walking by, you as a Christian, you have to jump in the sewage. Otherwise, the Muslim have the right to kill you. He been ordered to humiliate you. This is why the leader, the faithful Umar Khattab, may Allah please on him, demanded his well-known conditions to meet by the Christian those conditions to ensure their continued humiliation. Disgrace, insult. Do you see why we should not allow such a liar to talk? Because either he have to prove it, or he is fabricating things. We, we don't need to listen to fabricator. There's no, no nobody can debate a liar. You cannot debate him. You will show him this. He said, "I don't agree with it." You show him that his prophet saying, "He said, I don't agree with it." When he wants, he agree with the hadith. When he wants, he don't agree with the hadith. But he said he don't agree with the hadith. But just to prove me wrong, he said he agree that Allah, he have a heaven, which is one heaven, have 100 floor. But that mistake happened because of his stupidity. He forgot what he said. Some people, they forgot their lie a second ago. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Mehdi. Mehdi, Mehdi. Anybody? <clears throat> hmm. Anyone? Nobody? <clears throat> Well, I'm looking at Skype. I don't see anyone. Hmm. So what? The only one we have is Ultimate Fart? That's not fair. Who have a question? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And you know what? I'm going to help you actually. If you call me, 
you can continue you can carry on in the topic this guy he was saying because this way you can help us to expose him too who agree who is a Muslim agree with this guy anyone <clears throat> should we accept the hadith or we reject the hadith can you be a muslim without the hadith let me do this Read carefully. This is the Muslim is explaining that you cannot be a Muslim and by reject the hadith. Does anyone who reject the sahih hadith become a disbeliever? Praise be to Allah. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, and he's giving you that you cannot reject the hadith. Those are their scholars. The one who denied that we should follow the Sunnah is a disbeliever. And they quote for you. Do you see it? I mean, the article is very long, but we, we got the answer. You are not a Muslim. But we understand why they reject the hadith because it's a shameful statement of Muhammad. Muhammad exposed himself. The more he talk, the more he do poo, poo the more he make mistakes, the more he's exposed. So what we do? In order to eliminate proving me wrong, I will say, I don't accept the hadith. Okay, what about the Quran? <laughs> and then he will try to make his own Quran interpretation. Any Muslim would like to call me? Last call. Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? All right, nobody. No problem. Obviously, a prophet who teaches us to have sex with women for some money is a prophet of God. Obviously, a prophet who go after children to have sexual relationship with them is a prophet of God. Obviously, a prophet who promised you endless penis is a prophet of God. Obviously, a prophet who knew a lot about science, like if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. That's a prophet of God. Or the baby will look like you. That's a proven by science, my friend. This is a hippie prophet. A prophet who teach Muslim women to give their breasts to a stranger and hold on actually look what I received from face from Facebook guys look at this post in a hadith of Muhammad it says your post goes against our community's standard of nudity or sexual activities I just received this today if you post a hadith of Muhammad as it is 
This is against our standard of nudity and sexual activities. And by the way, I find uh, Facebook is the most stupid hypocrite. I'm sure the one who did that is Muslims, you know? They are ashamed of this hadith. I mean, in Facebook, there's women showing their boobs, showing their ass, I mean, or even naked. And yet this is, I post a hadith, and this is against your yeah 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 yeah. The Muslim complain. This is amazing. This is stupid. The prophet is get busted, so we should stop it. Let us flag it. And I will post it again and again and again. But do but by doing this, you prove to us that Islam is nudity and sexual activities. And this is about what? Aisha, she is ordering and the wives of the Prophet ordering men to go and nurse from Muslim women who they are relative to them so they can enter upon them. What kind of a Prophet he ordered women to give her boob to a stranger? The booby Prophet. Even Facebook ban your prophet statements and your Aisha statement because the one saying that is Aisha, so Aisha is a sexual nudity woman. According to Facebook, when Aisha she talk, she is doing sexual nudity. So imagine this: Aisha she have an account and she posts this because she is the one who's talking, not me. And then Facebook will say to her, say to her, your post is against our rule. You are practicing sexual and nudity. For remember, this is a statement of Aish, not mine. Any Muslim? Uh, random let him call me he's welcome I'm live on air when I am live on air he can call me anytime you wanna call me call me And you can do the same as ultimate fort. You can say, start saying, I don't believe in the hadith. And then you say to me, the heaven is 100 floor. Show me how stupid you are. I don't believe in the hadith. It's written by the Arab fabricator. I don't believe in the hadith. And then the heaven is 100 floor. At least they show their face. Well, they dare to share their face. I don't share my face. I am the same as Allah. Allah, He speaks from behind the veil. Do you show yourself yourself? Do you show your face? Show us your face. Are you sexy? Call me, show your face. I will put you in the camera. Let me see how, how brave you are. Because if you refuse to show your face, that's when you are a coward. This, this is your logic. Okay, call me. Open your camera and show us. And don't, don't worry about the American uh, uh, airplanes, you know, they are scary here. Those, the Marines, you know, they are doing some practice in the area. So just call me, open your camera, brother, I will put you in the screen. Aren't you brave? Well, you are the brave, you know. so why you don't show your face yourself? I am allowing you to open the camera, show us your face, show us whatever you want. There's a Muslim, he called me to debate me, he have a picture of him naked. And then he complained to YouTube. You believe it? He have a picture of himself. This guy, obviously, he do, he do uh, like a chat with women, showing his, uh, you know. The guy calling me to defend Allah and he's naked. Do you have the same? My camera is open. Why you don't see me? I'm not sure. You you don't see me? My camera is open. If you don't see me, it's mean Allah He blinded you. 
Allah don't want you to see me. Open your camera. Stupidity. Get out of here. We don't have time for kids. Do we have any brave Muslim here? And supposedly if I show you my face, what is next? Do I need to take off some stuff for you? So as your face, what does this have to do with the debate? What do you think about your brother saying that he don't believe in the hadith, but he believe in 100th floor? Liar. What do you think about your prophet? He believed that there's nothing called a stone into death in Islam. Or no order to kill the Christians in Islam. And those women, they are not captive in Islam. Who make his own interpretation for the Quran. I thought you want to call and defend, but you are worried about my face, my friend. Call me in Skype, I will put you on the screen and you will become famous, like Zach and I. And I promise you, if you call me, I will speak to you as, I, as if I am Zach and I. Right away you call me, I say to you, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother, what the question you have for me? Uh, Christian Prince, I challenge you to show me that the Bible is from God. First of all, I'm going to tell you the reference. And I want you to read for me. But before you do that, you need to open the camera for us. Uh, you want the camera? Exactly. Because this is the only way to prove to us that you are brave. And please, be sure that you are reading and wearing a proper clothes. Because we are live on air and there are many women they will see you. The proper clothes? Like what exactly? As an example, the Prophet he used to wear proper clothes. And he used to cover himself by wearing the clothes of Aisha. The Prophet wear the clothes of Aisha? Exactly. So I want you to wear the clothes of your wife when you call us. Do you want to do that? I want to see how brave you are practicing your prophet teaching, wearing his wife clothes, and you call me and you open the camera. And I swear, not to swear, I don't know, I can't swear, I'm a Christian. I promise I will put your life on air. A prophet wearing his wife clothes, he must be so brave. Because simply, I don't dare to do that. I don't dare, really. <clears throat> do you dare yourself I don't so, I mean look how lucky we are the only one we got but we got lucky and you know, we have somebody left Islam at least but the only one we got is ultimate You lie. You lie to the guy. You said Jesus don't say kill. My friend, God, he gave life. God, he can take it. Don't you believe in the flood of Noah? Yes, we do. What the flood of Noah is a mass killing. So simply, you are a liar and you are saying stupid things I did not say. Do we believe in Sodom and Gomorrah? Yes, we believe. What is that? Mass killing. The whole city is burned. So when we say that Christianity teaching love, it doesn't mean that God don't punish. We believe in hell and fire. We believe in law and order. We believe that the one who commit a crime should pay for his crime. So you are a liar and you are trying to fabricate things have nothing to do with our statements. While the Bible was teaching how severe the punishment of going around, sleeping around, especially with married women, your prophet was saying in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24, you can have sex with married women. The guy, he said, he says you can marry them. That is even making it more horrible if it's true. Because it says you can marry a married woman. You see, when you say, except married women, that's mean in this moment they are married women. Otherwise, why you are saying they are married women? Except. So you cannot sleep with married women. And when you marry a woman, what do you do? You sleep with her anyway. 
Like, do you marry her and you she stay in the closet? You marry her, you sleep with her. So it's forbidden for you. The here is talking about forbidden. Who is forbidden? Women who they are married. Except. And we knew that Muhammad, he was sleeping with one of his slaves, which is Mary the Copt. And by the way, he broke even his own command. Because here the right hand process is the captive from war, not just a slave. They have to be captive of war. And Mary the Copt is not a captive of war. So Muhammad, he did not even follow his own Quran. Malakatul Yameen is only captive of war. And you can read any Islamic interpretation. It's not just a slave. It had to be a captive of war. So Mary the Copt, Muhammad was sleeping with her for what reason? She is not a captive of war. She was a gift slave. And the funny, the Muslim, they say that Muhammad is against slavery, but his house is full of slaves and he, and he sleep with them. <clears throat> no, not whatever you enjoy them. It's whatever you enjoy yet. You see, the translation is false. See here, it says, whatever you enjoy them right it doesn't say enjoy them it says enjoy yet which means their vagina you can ask anyone what be he mean it not them whatever you enjoy of it from them mean hun the muta you would do by what? By it. It what? Their private part. From them. Then you pay them. And we showed you even the Islamic interpretation. They are saying this is a renting women. Correct? I mean, the, the Muslim explained it to us. We don't need to for me to. He says this is kind of rental. And they said the purpose of this such a kind of relationship. The man purpose and aim is sexual enjoyment and in return the women she receive money or property. They said that. <clears throat> no, this is a different person. Aisha, sorry, uh, Mary the Copt is not a woman. He killed her family. She been given to him as a gift from Egypt. That is different women. Many women, they are killed and kidnapped by Muhammad. Many women. But maybe you are talking about uh, Hafsa. Sorry, about uh, uh, so you want to get, getting old. There's women like the uh, Horia, there is Juria, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, and uh, See, this is about Bain Mustalir. See, this is Juria. There's many stories. He killed all the men, he took all the women to rape them. And Safiya and Juria and many, you know. Translation for the Quran, not much. I'm very slow because I'm busy with many things. The only thing to go progress, maybe I need to stop doing live broadcast. But as you see, what we do is extremely important. You see, he attacked them and those people did not do anything to Muhammad, nothing. Even later, even later Muhammad, he told uh, 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 this woman, uh, uh, like he killed them because uh, he heard stuff same as what happened to Sa to Safiya he heard somebody told him stuff that they don't like you we go kill them slay them he heard hmm 
Mm. And he was named last call. Anyway, uh, guys, don't forget to download the video before this one because we will take it down. And this one today, we will leave it for you for some time. And then we will take it down too. And we want to give a chance to uh, Ultimate Fart to download the video, please. Ultimate Fart, if you're listening, don't forget to download the video because later, maybe by, by the evening, by tomorrow, we will take it uh, off. So please, Ultimate Fart. I want you to, to take this. Uh, don't cut anything. Don't be a coward. Put it exactly as it is in your channel. I want you to be proud, my friend. I'm sure you are very proud. All the Nigerian Muslims will be proud of you. And they will support you anyway, whatever you say. Don't worry. They are Muslims. All right? So, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And pray for the Muslims uh, to see the truth. And the truth will set them free. If you'd like to learn more about the cult of Islam, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon. And if you are an Indonesian, you like it in uh, your language. Actually, I have the book for free. And they are posting it in more many channels in Indonesian language. So those who they are from Indonesian, you can read it for free. And I hope soon we will have the second book in Indonesian too. So thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon.